Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. When you see the Holy Spirit move like this, it's a communication of many things. For many people, it's an indication that seasons are opening. Are we together? Yes, seasons. The weak is living for the strong. See that? The less anointed is living for another dimension. Number two, when you see extended periods of worship in the presence of God like this, there are impartations happening. Impartations are not just anointings, they are answers. Answers. So in that worship, the Bible says, be still and then you will know. You may not hear a rema, but an anointing is bringing an answer. It's not the one you've always received. Number three, in these kinds of atmospheres, deliverances, deliverances. You don't have to fall and shout and call. In these atmospheres, convictions are strengthened. Suddenly, a worship song is rising, and you just stand and you're just thinking and saying, My life, my life. Will it continue this way? Prayerlessness? Will it continue this way? No commitment to God. And whilst the worship, you're not hearing anything directly, but the Holy Ghost is speaking to your spirit, man. And you can capture the impulses of the spirit. So when, when there are extended periods of worship like this, you must understand that the Holy Spirit is doing something specifically. Now, it is good to be excellent and organized. We believe in excellence, you know that. But then I think the challenge sometimes is that there is too much interruption because sometimes we can be so organized we are more conscious of our ego and the rudiments of things you see those who are like that cannot get the best of the holy spirit because his character is the wind is that true the bible says the wind bloweth where it listeth you cannot tell from whence it's coming or where it is going he says such is the character is the nature it's not that the one who is led by the spirit is disorganized but that the holy spirit sustains an ability to navigate you at will and can be able to alter whatever according to god's divine purposes learn it learn it don't get to a point where you box the holy spirit and say you move like this no sir no sir that's the reason why we never never experience certain superior dimensions of him i tell you this worship i can I, I just wish that i was alone in my secret place and i can sing like this and worship till morning not pray i'm not talking of praying many things should happen in the secret place if the only thing you do in the secret place is praying in tongues then there is a lot you are missing let me tell you praying in tongues is very important but you see the holy spirit must be the governor and the lord of your secret place there are times you go to the secret place and for one hour you cannot say a word you just sit down yet you are communicating because you see in the realm of the spirit your mouth is not the only instrument of communication there can be a spirit communication happening yet your mouth is not saying anything your mind may even be unfruitful to that experience but after that secret place you know that you left with something it's like an intercourse learn it 
this is how to be spiritual it is not longevity in the christian environment that makes people mature it is their ability to have trained their spirits to to train their sensitivity to be able to understand the things that the holy spirit is doing if all that the holy ghost wants us to do tonight is to just sing and sing and worship that's what we do he is the governor he is the one who is responsible for the transformation he knows what menu befits what situation there are people the situation in your life right now sincerely speaking you don't need a sermon you need a song it's only a song that has the capacity to minister to you are we together when you've been beaten by life you've prayed you have fasted sometimes he captures his thoughts in a song and you may like all the songs that we sang here you may not remember anything but there is a line that's where the anointing is the anointing may not be on all the song it may just be on a line a phrase a clause a sentence part of it and you keep singing it till your spirit soaks that anointing are we together you must understand this is how people are edified you see because in a place like this there are people inside outside are we together now and everybody has his needs as a man of god you don't just come with a redumented understanding you see people will keep looking at you but very soon your church will go dry because the truth is that the holy spirit it, the operation of the holy spirit his omnipresence is a mystery such that everybody can leave a meeting and say you were talking to me yet the experiences were different for many people half of your edification for tonight's meeting has happened in this worship if we did not capture this moment of worship there is something that god intended for you tonight that you would not have received let's learn to be spiritual let's learn to be spiritual let's learn organization is good but carnality is driving the fullness of the holy spirit from our lives from our meetings because of regimented activities organization is good but brothers and sisters we're talking about the spirit of the living god the holy spirit is not an angel when he comes you step back i think he's pride to resist the holy spirit i think he's sin to resist the holy spirit even if it is for the sake of the breakthrough of one person let's let him do it you hear people shouting it's not a proof that a man is anointed it's a proof that god is working are we together now you left your house and you came and the spirit of god is working the angels of god that excel in strength they are working reading the hearts of men like pages of books oh this one is in need of a healing ah uh, how do we communicate the healing okay there is somewhere in the message where we'll come and they leave you and they go to someone this person is depressed at this level of depression you will not even hear anything so he comes back to the preacher and says raise a song because there is somebody who is too depressed to start hearing any rema no matter what you say it will not bless him it is in that song you find out that everyone may be tired but only two people are crying that song was for them this is called the ministry of the spirit so the holy ghost is ministry you see that it's not it's not charismatism it's not an, an a, a man of god showing his anointed uh -uh. it's the holy spirit this is the only way you bless people L listen let me tell you it's not just by the excellency of speech it's by allowing the holy spirit you must give him right of way i've said it, you can fake power you can't fake relationship you can't fake the secret place we must have the ears that hear and the eyes that see as a preacher as a man of god you are standing here as a servant in partnership with the holy spirit to minister to the needs of people men of god let's never forget that this whole thing is about the people if there are 90 people here who are sick even if i'm teaching on relationship the healing anointing will start flowing you see that because the holy ghost knows 90 people cannot come sick and go just because i plan to no 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 the holy ghost will say i know we prepare for this but the hunger of my people is and their faith compelling that dimension of the anointing and a wise man of god 
will be able to say even so come the spirit and the bride come 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 lord jesus someone traveled far to come and get an anointing come lord jesus someone left the hospital with their medical bills to come come lord jesus so after a meeting like this you find out that as people are going home everybody leaves with a testimony or that if you teach religiously a time will come where only a few people a few people not more than 10 out of thousands of people who will be saved let me tell you what members do they love you but the truth is that they are not being changed and they will they may not stop coming but their faith dies when they come they don't expect transformation they, they will not even invite anybody because they know it's an embarrassment or will I tell this visitor now come for koinonia and the visitor says it's half of the service already I've not been blessed my depression is still there the headache is pounding me I thought you said the Holy Spirit is here If you are in ministry or God is calling you into ministry here, I beg you in the name of Jesus Christ, pay the price before you come and hold the mic. Give the people something. Let every meeting be an encounter. An encounter. From the worship. That's why we pray. That's why we prepare for every meeting as if it's the last. Because you don't know whose destiny someone may visit koinonia now once and may not have the privilege to come again so he will live with his perception there's no excuse if you're a pastor here make sure your workers are spiritual i've said it skill is good but spirituality precedes skill you see him playing this thing someone can sit down and be playing the keyboard and what he's playing is music and alter what the holy spirit is doing another person can sit on the drums and just be playing whatever he wants to do another person can hold the mic here and stand to sing and just be twisting your tongue and the people know they are not getting blessed excellence is only useful when spirituality is intact then you can communicate it's the ministry of the spirit let the weight of your glory let it cover us let the life of your river flow let this truth that brings healing let it rain in us let the weight of your glory Please, I want you to pay attention to what I'm going to be teaching tonight. Wherever we stop, if we can finish it, because I want us to pray. Hallelujah. I'm teaching tonight on the gifts of the Spirit. I want you to expect a solid encounter. Please. A solid encounter open your spirit open your ears you're a man of god open your spirit for the sake of your precious members open your spirit tonight's teaching is going to introduce something to our lives by the grace of god i i trust god there is there is somewhere i want us i'm trusting that god will take us it's like a flight in the spirit if we can get there tonight we have made progress but i pray i pray that no flesh will stop us from attaining there first corinthians chapter 12. spirit of god help our weaknesses let us be communicators of spirit and life. The subject of the gift of the spirit has come.
scarcely been dealt with especially in recent time in the body of Christ great men like Papa E. Hagen E. W. Kenyon T. L. Osborne and great men and women who ministered powerful in the spirit from the 40s the 50s then the the faith movement and the charismatic revival that swept across the mid 60s down to the late 70s into the early 80s and after that many people have experienced the ministry of the spirit we have written books about the gifts of the spirit not just the gifts but dimensions of operation in the spirit but I think in my opinion and, and may God forgive me if I sound proud but I think there is a very big gap in the understanding of people over the gifts of the spirit the truth is that even those who walk in them cannot properly explain them it's just been from one manuscript theologically communicated to another and so it's, it's largely a repetition but tonight I trust that God will help us to do justice in the name of Jesus Christ 1 Corinthians chapter 12 when Jesus walked the earth Jesus manifested certain dimensions of the Holy Spirit that that caused the people in his day to marvel the Gospels are full of exclamations of shock and wonder as to the invincibility of Jesus Christ three and a half years but he moved in such proportions of power and grace are we together and Jesus began to mentor he taught but he took out his time to mentor 12 people there were other different groups 72 and etc but the 12 people he began to mentor them he taught them on several things and when you read the Gospels you see um, the book of Matthew Mark Luke all of them are wonderful but notice that the communicators did not emphasize the ministry of the Holy Spirit there were certain dimensions but there was very little emphasis it was John 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 the Apostle are we together now when you read from chapter 14 chapter 15 chapter 16 it was an the entire those scriptures were an exegesis on the personality of the Holy Spirit Jesus was introducing the person of the Holy Spirit to them he called him in different names a helper a standby etc etc they had seen the manifestations of Jesus at a certain time he empowered them and sent them two by two the Bible says they returned with wonders yet they did not understand the dynamics of what they were doing they said master even the demons were subject to us in thy name and he said do not rejoice that the demons are subject to you let me give you another reason and then he says I saw Satan falling so several things do you know even the apostles themselves did not have a thorough understanding as to the gifts of the spirit the gifts of the spirit did not start manifesting in the new testament it's always been there in different dimensions but no one was able to construct a theology a doctrine out of it and communicate it intelligently to the body of christ it was paul the apostle Paul the apostle who was granted access to the mysteries of Christ who came to the church in Corinth now theologically speaking the church in Corinth where they were at a period of spiritual renaissance the power of God was breaking out all kinds of things they did not know the name of what was manifesting through them they knew that the Holy Spirit found a lavish dimension of um, um, access to that territory People were prophesying to a point that there was disorderliness so when Paul came Paul knew that he needed to build a theological basis for the understanding of the ministry of the Holy Spirit and then importantly the gifts of the Spirit are we together now so Paul now is speaking to them on the gifts of the Holy Spirit verse 4 12 verse 4 please let's be very fast let's trust God for grace hallelujah 
it starts from verse 1 if you read it says now concerning spiritual gifts please give us verse 1 then we'll go to verse 4 it says now concerning spiritual gifts the Holy Ghost is speaking through Apostle Paul I do not want you koinonia to be ignorant meaning that you can be born again filled with the Holy Spirit even walking in the gifts of the Spirit but you are ignorant of the dynamics the inner workings of it and it's impossible to gain mastery when you are trying it takes understanding it says concerning spiritual gifts brethren so he's speaking to people who are born again speaking to those who have had an encounter with the life of God I do not want you to be ignorant let's go to verse 4 there are diversities of gifts but the same spirits there this is a very interesting information notice the construction of Paul Paul is teaching people who he wants to have you can sit down brother or find somewhere if you can't sit on his seat you can sit uh, wherever there he says there are diversities of gifts let me tell you what that means look up please Paul is saying you are going to see people move in dimensions that are unusual dimensions that will stretch you sometimes beyond your normal um, gentleman hold on my friend listen hold on just leave the guy he's crying just leave him there please don't worry let him just shift just shift a little there eh? and leave him let's just leave him with God there and it's all right he was covering the camera thank you there are diversities of gifts listen do you know why Paul brought this because if you understand the gift of the Spirit it can stretch faith except you know God there are certain gifts that are controversial in their operation so Paul is saying look the first information church I want you to know is that in your walk of faith you are going to encounter men that will move so strangely in the gifts of the spirit it will stretch your intellect it will stretch your education you are going to see things you are not familiar with but I give you a note it is the same spirit that is operating are you getting that information now so someone can come for a meeting like this and watch people fly under the anointing are we together now and watch people running out by the spirit and say this is this is strange I am not used to the Holy Spirit moving this way that's why Paul started by giving us this information that the gifts of the spirit are diverse brothers and sisters the first information I want you to know tonight that the gifts of the spirit are not nine the gifts of the spirit are only theologically classified based on the revelation that Paul's exegesis gives us but the gifts of the spirit are not nine that's why the word of God must be studied from the vista of the spirit otherwise all that you will just read is theology it says there are how many gifts diversities meaning there were certain gifts Paul did not see but are available. The gifts never stopped as nine. The gifts are as diverse as the alignment of the saints. Meaning that you are going to see certain gifts that you may not exactly find a name for them. And so chances are that when you see it, you're going to say, no, 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 this may not be of God. There are diversities of gifts. Are you learning something tonight? It says, but the same spirit. When you study God's generals, one of the controversies between two of the generals, Alexander Dewe and um, Maria Woodward Eater. Now listen, Maria Woodward Eater, historically speaking, was the one who brought what we call trans evangelism a phenomenon where people under a strange influence of the spirit will not only fall under the anointing but will freeze in a position for hours it's not a phenomenon that they had seen it was in our meetings like this guy now he can stand like that for five hours you can't do that ordinarily with your hand and you can see people stop like this for hours now watch this they did not have internet and the media was not strong for people to have access to themselves so when Alexander Dewe although a great man mighty man whom in the healing anointing when he stumbled across a woman at the other side of the earth 
who was carrying out mighty miracles he found out from her meetings that people were freezing and stopping Alexander the way said that woman number one the fact that she's a woman ministering is under the spirit of divination and Maria Woodward Ita said no I'm a woman who loves God God anointed me and called me to be an evangelist this is a man of God anointed Alexander Doe was the spiritual mayor of Illinois but at the Zion city yet in that level that that supposed high level of spirituality he could not discern that although this manifestation was foreign to him it was still of the Holy Ghost this is one of the biggest limitations that the church has given the Holy Spirit that the fact that God is not moving the way he moved five years ago does not mean he's not the one moving be careful be careful be careful there are manifestations that you see that you may never be able to capture the Holy Ghost can open your eyes and conjure scriptures together that will paint a picture that reflects that experience but you will not see it at plain sight and so chances are that you will doubt the fact that it is God moving in that dimension Smith Wigglesworth will be moved powerfully under the spirit and he would carry a dead man and punch the man not that he was an angry man he didn't even know what moved him what is the name of that gift listen let me tell you something are you seeing why when he finished teaching he told them i show you a more excellent way a more excellent way of ministering these gifts perfectly because if you lack love there will be criticism there will be cynicism are we together why did you heal this brother by hugging him where is it in the bible that you hug a brother and heal him and so you say this is the devil where is it in the bible that a congregation hold their hands together to pray in tongues that means praying in tongues is demonic publicly are you seeing now and sometimes i have taught us here that the bible is a prophetic book you can make it preach anything a herbalist can show you scriptures here that will cause you to walk in witchcraft many things happen in the bible demons spoke donkeys spoke people spoke in their backslidden state prophets who doubled into divination spoke it takes the spirit to divide the word accurately and show you which was sponsored the part of scripture that was sponsored by the spirit is what we call the word of god Are you getting blessed there are diversities of gifts diversities of gifts in this end time we are going to see moves of the spirit in proportions and dimensions that will bring harsh criticism but will birth the glory of God in unusual ways point number two please let's hurry up number five media help us There are differences in ministries. Now, do you know what he's saying? That means under the same gift, the way you dispense it, like a pharmacist giving drugs, is different. The same gift, but the dispensing of that gift, the administration of it, is different. That means you can see three prophets. Are we together? But the character and the nature of that operation is different verse 6 then it says there are diversities of activities but it's the same God who works all and in all so let's get to the gifts 7 but the manifestation of the spirit is given to each one for the profit of all now here is the key the gift of the spirit is for the profit of the body the profit of the body the profit of the body not the profit of a denomination not the profit of a man of God not a profit of just an individual it is for the profit of all verse 8 for to one is given the word of wisdom so Paul is classifying them now are we together now 
through the spirit to another is given the word of knowledge through the same spirit please let's run it down next verse to another faith by the same spirit to another gifts of healing take note do you see an s there with gifts not a gift of healing gifts of healing by the same spirit next verse to another oh dear media is playing a lot of games with her our passion let me open it so that i can read it there's no time for this to another faith by the same spirit to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit to another the working of miracles to another prophecy to another discerning of spirits to another various or diverse kinds of tongues to another interpretation of tongues 11 and we stop there it says but all this worketh that one and the same very same spirit dividing unto every man severally as he wills now close your bible and let's talk so paul for the sake of order remember the entire text of first of first corinthians 12 13 14 the entire subject can be summarized in one word first corinthians 14 verse 40 it says let all things be done decently and in order so paul he, his 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 passion is to see that everything is done decently but in order to do that he had to build like a wise master builder and teach them the gifts of the spirit are not limited to nine yes it is true that there are nine gifts theologically defined according to the experience of the present day church theologically speaking the nine gifts let's work with the nine gifts for the sake of understanding um, many of us know that they are divided into three categories the first category is called the revelatory gifts the gifts that have to do with revelation and insight from the realm of the spirit revelatory gifts and there are three of the revelatory gifts the word of wisdom the word of knowledge and the discerning of spirits i'm not going to dwell on all of them i'll just touch them there are a few i want us to just stop there revelatory gifts that's the first classification theologically speaking that the gifts of the spirit are classified into three first revelatory gifts the word of wisdom the word of knowledge the discerning of spirits number two utterance or vocal gifts that's the second classification gifts that have to do with speech communication all the gifts will require communication but that this one's the primary medium for dispensing them is your mouth speech the gift of diverse kinds of tongues the gift of interpretation of tongues and the gift of prophecy comes under this classification the gift of diverse kinds of tongues don't just write tongues diverse kinds of tongues the gifts of interpretation of tongues and the gift of prophecy and then number three power gifts the third classification theologically speaking power gifts and that includes the gift of faith the gifts of healing add s to gifts the gifts of healing and then the working of miracles so three 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 the revelatory gifts that make you think like christ the utterance gifts that make you speak like Christ. The power gifts that make you act like Christ. The revelatory gifts make you think like Christ. The vocal gifts make you speak like Christ. The power gifts cause you to act like Christ. Are we together? Let's take them one by one. Very quickly number one word of wisdom what is it what exactly is the word of wisdom <laughs> the word of wisdom is the ability to supernaturally profess solutions to situations and problems the supernatural ability to profess solutions to situations 
problems, challenges that are beyond your current level of education. Sorry, I'm fast, I'm running. Supernatural ability to profess solutions to problems and situations beyond your current level of education, exposure, physical maturity, and experience. When you sustain an ability in the spirit to communicate divine ideas and solutions to human problems, problems that defy your current level of exposure, problems that defy the, 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 the knowledge that your level of maturity should have brought, your level of education and your level of experience is called the word of stone. Access to supernatural illumination. Access to supernatural understanding. You need it. Now, let me tell you this. Many people have downplayed on this gift of the spirit. You know why? Because in our thinking, we think it is not charismatic. Do you know? Do you know? Truly, let me tell you. This is one of the apex of the apostolic ministry. Not even power gifts. Not revelatory gifts. It's impossible to claim you're working in the apostolic office truly and lack the gift of wisdom. Because the apostolic office is first an administrative office. Jesus himself manifested this. John chapter 8. When you read 1 to 11, it was the, the, the issue of the woman who was caught in adultery. John chapter 8, 1 to 11. We're not, going to, we're not going to read all that because of time, but just write it. John chapter 8, 1 to 11. Jesus was teaching and he sat down somewhere. And then the Pharisees and scribes caught a woman in adultery. You know, every time I read this story, I'm surprised. Where was the man? You see that victimizing women did not start today. No. The man may be part of them. The goal was to pin Jesus. You, you see it now? Let me tell you where you need this gift. Because this our world is full of wicked men and women. Who will look for every and anything to throw you. Destroy your business. Destroy your ministry. Destroy you down. You need the gift of the word of wisdom. And then they came to Jesus. Sorry, there's no time. Let me just quote it. Threw that woman in front of him. And they said, Jesus, you claim you're a prophet. You claim you're a by. Here's a test. We caught this woman in adultery. In the very act of it. Very act means that there should be a man. They said, man, you can go. The woman, let's just go. <laughs> you see how wicked those people were. Then when they threw him, they now said, Moses said, I hope you know that part of the condition to be a true prophet is that you must acknowledge every other prophet that has come. So if Jesus now rejected Moses, they'll say, you see, you're a fake prophet. And if Jesus said, yes, you are right, they'll say, now you have submitted to our religious governing authorities. That was a difficult situation. You will be faced with situations in your life where yes and no will still put you in trouble. Both yes and no will land you in trouble. Your enemies is like penalty. You know how they, they, they pay football and they pin you. You are the goalkeeper. They are about to pay. They, the people are already shaking themselves. It's at that point you need to tap into this dimension of the gift of the spirit. People vow that because of tribalism they will drive you out of your job. The boss says something. Your superior and direct boss and the manager says something conflicting statements they carry the file and drop and two of them are calling you let me tell you you don't need education you need the gift of the word of wisdom you obey the one directly under you they sack two of you you obey the one above you you come back and meet the one in your unit it helps us to think like Christ he says let this mind permit this mind to be in you which was also in Christ Jesus business people need this mind every leader needs this understanding and here's what jesus did they thought jesus was going to say certain things jesus kept writing writing the holy ghost was moving him the fountain of wisdom self then he lifted up his head in confidence and here's what he said he who does not have sin 
he was talking about is another way of saying i'm the only one who is qualified to cast the stone you get it and then he said he just like joseph said find a man who is discreet and wise it was another way of saying i'm here oh. he who does not have sin to cast the stone and i'm sure he was the oldest guy who was the other party there and he lifted the stone and he dropped it everyone dropped it and he said woman where are thine accusers and she turned he said neither do i accuse you go and sin no more jesus manifested that was not word of knowledge that was the gift of the word of wisdom how many times we have been whipped by life because we lack this an opportunity that would have honored you how many pastors who stood before government officials would have made certain statements by the spirit that would have given them access to certain things imagine how many foolish decisions our loved ones have taken born again and filled with the holy spirit but not allowing these possibilities find expression you need the gift of the word of wisdom in your life education is limited your experiences are limited you cannot wait to respond to life only based on your exposure and experience you will need that grace can we pray in one minute and cry to the God of heaven and say Lord I'm tired of foolish decisions I access wisdom by the Spirit the word of wisdom my life is full of challenges that need to be surmounted and Lord I need a dimension of wisdom that is beyond my age there are many of us in ministry you you have challenges financially administratively in terms of growth and membership there are many of us here you need grace you don't know what to do should i get a job should i do business you you need the word of wisdom you need the word of wisdom a supply of intelligence that is above this realm you need god to communicate something that bails you out lift your voice and pray in one minute help me oh god spirit of the living god i open up to you my destiny is at the mercy of your wisdom speak to me tired of piercing myself again and again with needless sorrows when your wisdom can bail me out of the vicissitudes of life hallelujah are we blessed please sit down we have to run just help those under the anointing in 2004 i spent three weeks praying this gift into my life three weeks god is my witness praying it into my life i said lord you cannot send me as foolish as i am and i am too young to make the decisions i should make i need a supply of intelligence that is higher listen some mistakes in life don't have second chance some answers the bible says to not be hasty you can stand before your destiny helper and blow up your opportunity forever that's why jesus kept quiet because this is not a usual communication you need the spirit to speak how many people have stood before their supervisors how many people have stood before their financial helpers how many people have stood before their boss he says i will give you a mouthpiece and a wisdom that your enemies will not be able to gain say or resist number two the word of knowledge what is it the word of knowledge is a supernatural insight and access into past and present events with a view to preferring solutions with a view to preferring solutions access into happenings access into occurrences sometimes even occurrences that predate your own birth Our world is full of wickedness and we need this dimension of the Holy Spirit that can help us to go back in time and piece together useful informations 
that help us to interpret the happenings in our lives are we together now oftentimes the secret to the future is in the past when we can sustain the eyes to go back and see and understand word of knowledge the purpose of the gift of the word of knowledge primarily aside from supplying informations is to build the faith and the conviction of the recipients if I can reach into an information in your life and supply you an information that might be useful in helping you interpret your today it can build your faith now notice that the gift of the word of knowledge and prophecy works peri pursue. In fact, many people mistaking this gift, half of what people call prophecy is the manifestation of the word of knowledge. The word of knowledge only deals with past events and present events. When it becomes futuristic, that's prophecy. Past events, present events. Two examples very quickly. In John chapter 1, you read from verse 45 to the last verse 51. John chapter 1. The Bible tells us about a man called Nathaniel. Are we together? Nathaniel was beckoned by Philip that Jesus, they had met the Messiah that was prophesied. And Nathaniel made a very sarcastic statement. Nathaniel said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? While all that conversation was happening, Jesus was somewhere watching them. Then Nathaniel comes and Jesus sees Nathaniel. Here's what Jesus said. An Israelite indeed in whom there is guile. And Nathaniel saw him and said, uh-uh, you mean you know me? And he said, Nathaniel, while you were under the tree insulting me, I saw you. <gasps> Nathaniel was amazed. Immediately, an attestation, this is the Christ, truly, the son of the living God. And then he said, Nathaniel, just because I gave you this, you were stunned. You are going to see the heavens open and the angels ascending and descending. Remember when Jesus was with the Samaritan woman at the well. That woman had the potential to bring a lot of people to hear and listen to Jesus. Preparing them for what would happen at redemption. But there needed to be an access point. The woman had to be convicted. And then Jesus came to her. And they started a conversation about water. And then Jesus looks at her. And says to her, Madam, you have five husbands past. The sixth one that you are with now is not your husband. And she looked, she said, I perceive you are a prophet. And then he began to talk to her. The Bible says she left her water pot there. Ran to the city and said, all of you come. Come and see a man. He didn't say come and see a preacher. Come and see a man that manifested a gift that astonished me. Come. Come see a man that has told me what I've done and when the people came and listened to Jesus here was their testimony we now believe not because of what you have said we have had that encounter by ourselves the word of knowledge if used in accordance to the word is powerful I have watched people's faith jump leap just because a communication one word was given to them by the spirit Do you know let me tell you this never fight the gifts of the spirit it may be abused that's why we are balancing it. But do not ever fight it. The encouragement that happens to your faith when a true man of God gives you a genuine word of knowledge, not a general guesswork that you know this is not edifying. There are words of knowledge that are not blessing. Are we together? If I look at you and say you have pain all over your body, the probability is yes something must be paining you somewhere so that's not powerful enough to convict you but when i look at you and say pastor alpha while you were eating yam from home before coming and this and that and that and that and i talk to you ah something happens to your faith and all of a sudden you look and you are like my the God who can see me is the one who is telling me now by this time tomorrow you will be foolish to doubt him are we together now the word of knowledge listen listen let me have your attention the word of knowledge is a powerful instrument of building faith 
Have you gone to a place where you see people being sarcastic and nasty and lousy and insulting the cynical people? And then one really strong, accurate, powerful, well-delivered word of knowledge. And all of a sudden, you see everybody wipes sleep. And say, lift up your hand and everybody is lifting and open. The unbelief in our world requires the gifts of the Spirit to tame doubt and release the power of God to people. I remember betting with a woman the gender of her child. And I told her, she argued it was a female. I said, if it's a male, you will make pepper soup for me. If it's a female, I don't know how to make pepper soup, so I will give you the financial equipment. I started dancing. I said, hey, hey, hey. how much is going to make pepper soup for me? What a free way of earning a living. <laughs> Imagine what happens to your stubborn loved ones. You know, we have almost every family has, for whatever reason, we have people around us who the devil is trying to snatch. You pray in tongues, they shout, they talk nonsense. I want to go to the house of God. No, 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 no. And then one day, God just lands in a way and you commune, not, not for self-aggrandizement. You speak a powerful word to your father and say, sir, the Lord told me to tell you while you were at the bank trying to collect that money, it was, remember that your argument with that woman, her name was Stella. Usually they will act as if you are lying and then later they will call you and say, who told you? Let me tell you, the human spirit can never resist the supernatural. Our pride can claim it doesn't matter. It's a lie. It's a lie. If you, if you encounter the word of knowledge, whether you repent or not, you can't sleep that night for sure. Ah, ah. He called my name and said this and said that. I think where it was in Joss, if you can remember, when just ministering um some i think one of the polytechnics and then while i was ministering the holy ghost ministered to me that there was a young man who was doubting you know you know these are people where you know doubting doubting how are we sure remember this story and i said there is a young man now this is what you are thinking to yourself you are doubting and this is what is wrong with you god will heal you now when that guy came out even me when you see him you know it had to be god that brought him out the guy just came out dragging and said honestly he was standing there doubting this thing i was like magic brothers and sisters our shout is too much let the gift help us our 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 begging is too much let the god brought these gifts to make the gospel superior the, the way we communicate this thing we are the mercy of people's wills we beg we beg you know everybody oh yeah lift your hand now is jesus not here my jesus and everybody's looking at you where is he and you are negotiating with them no the bible says that when i came to you i did not come with the excellency of speech but in the demonstration of power if you are a prophet if someone gives you a word of knowledge it will impress you you won't say because i'm walking it is it's like you are it's like you are a nurse when you are sick won't you turn for injection will you say because i'm a nurse? no another nurse will give you an injection and you will receive it so that you'll be well listen i want you to cry tonight and say lord my family needs salvation let this gift of the spirit walk in my life pray one minute there are doubters in my community insulting and blaspheming the name of the Lord or oh, that you would grant me access oh God the word of knowledge supernatural illumination insight into events explaining the mysteries of the lives of men helping men make sense of their lives hallelujah please sit down number three discerning of spirits i can spend the whole night here but let's see how god will help us what's discernment or we call it discernment or discerning of spirits please do not joke with this gift 
this gift of the spirit will be um it will bail you out of many pains are we together what is discerning of spirits the gift of perception perception the ability to perceive spiritual impulses the ability to know the origin the source and the motivation behind the manifestation the origin the source and even the motif behind a manifestation is called discernment. Whether activity is initiated and sustained by God, whether it is an act of man's will or it is demonic, you will never judge them by the physical results. It will take discernment. For you to know that which is of God. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you and I submit to you with all humility. It will be foolish to imagine everything happening in the body of Christ is of God. No. There are things that are orchestrated by demons. There are doctrines that came from devils. The Bible says the spirit speaketh expressly. That in the latter days some will depart from the faith. Giving heed to seducing spirits and the doctrine of demons. There is such a doctrine as the doctrine of demons. Not the study of demons. An understanding that was fabricated intentionally from the pit of hell to destroy the saints. Are we together? You need discernment. It is only through discernment that you can judge righteous judgment. It's impossible for you to judge accurately if you lack discernment you will call good evil you will call evil good you will call saints devils you will call devils saints it takes discernment the realm of the spirit is not heaven the realm of the spirit is a spiritual environment the environment that birthed this realm the raw materials that have now crystallized as matter in this realm came from the realm of the spirit and anyone who has access to the realm of the spirit has a superior advantage whether through divination whether through the holy spirit or any spirit any spirit that can access the realm of the spirit has an advantage over this realm that's why jesus said i am the door there are many other entrances but he says I'm the authorized entrance meaning you can enter the house through a window you can enter the house through somewhere if I enter your house if you step into your house and you find me and I crawled my way through a gutter somewhere am I inside your house yes did I enter legally no the authorized way is the gate and the door I've told you every power you see being manifested on earth is God's power. Every plus the power manifested by witchcraft. Once have I spoken, twice have we heard that all the only reason why it is called witchcraft is because there is an agenda behind that result and the whole spirit is not the spirit that authorized that possibility to find expression. So there is the correctness of the result does not mean it is of God. The correctness of the result is gauged by the spirit that sponsored it. Any activity in the realm of the spirit sponsored by the Holy Spirit has God's endorsement. That means that it is possible this guy can be sick. And as a herbalist, I can conjure leaves based on a book my grandfather taught me, correct? And he says when you put lemon and add it with guava drink pour charcoal on it set it on fire in the night it can raise a kind of incense that will bring health to him and my grandfather will say that's how we lived healthy this guy can be sick i will conjure those things it will shock you right in your presence the way the guy will be healed he say i can't feel pain again he said that's it and he will go and bring someone else 
Now, if I come as a man of God and I say, wow, we are brothers. We are not brothers. We are not brothers. We are not brothers. Are we together? No, we are not brothers. Brothers are those from the same father and mother or at least father. Correct? We can't be brothers. You see, because the spirit. One time I was ministering to a lady and they took her somewhere in Zaria here. And she, she described a very nasty experience that she had. She said when she went there, one of the things that happened to her was that they will burn, you will drop your money, not honorarium, there's an exact amount that you drop. Once you drop the man, you know, the whatever it is, will now call certain names, cajole, you know, read from books, slates, and all kinds of things. And the moment they say it, a spirit will tell that man um, whatever spirit influence. And then all of a sudden, you know how it happens when people manifest. The, the victim now will start shaking, shaking, and before you know it, the spirit will start speaking. Now, here's the interesting point. After all the conversation with the spirit, you now ask Moya, why did you come? Maybe they annoyed me or I didn't eat. You know how spirits talk. They are so dull. I have no, I've not eaten. And you people are eating in this land. And we are here hungry. And then, instead of casting out the devils, because they cannot cast out the devils, they do what we call occultic pacifism. You pacify by an atonement. You see that? So you is the spirit that will tell you what it will eat. So the spirit will say one black goat. You say, oh, that's it. You two, all of you had it. It's not me that wants to eat the goat. And then they bring the goat. And the only thing the man burns is the legs and the head. <laughs> oh, not burn that part. And settle down with the real part of the goat and say, look, he that serves in the altar should, should eat from the altar. And then when I looked at the lady in my mind, I said, what is, what is all this thing now? And you know, before I would talk, all of a sudden, that spirit just started manifesting. And I said, honestly, I don't have all this time. Please, I'm tired. Just live in the name of Jesus Christ. And that was the end of it. When the lady got up, her mother was surprised. And watch this. Because that, this thing, you will go for many days. It's not like you will go once. If you don't complete the, uh, the the program the demon gave it can backfire and kill everybody you know how it happens and all of that let me tell you all that is nonsense I repeat nonsense absolute nonsense no. there is a name more that was given to believers there is a name there is a name it says in my name it didn't say the mentioning of it you can shout Jesus till forever. And like the sons of Sceva, demons will pound on you like many people talk. It's not about pronunciation. There is a guy, there's one guy that committed a crime recently. His name is Jesus. I'm mean, one, one of these funny guys now. Not, not the footballer I was reading. I said, Jesus, can you imagine that guy? So you stand and shout. And while you are shouting, Jesus, Jesus, no. It is not in the pronunciation. It's in the revelation. The miracle is in your understanding. That's why Jesus looked at them and said, go. One of the standard proofs of spiritual maturity is discernment. You cannot say you are matured in the spirit if this gift is not working in your life. Brothers and sisters, I submit to you and I join the many loving men of God around the world and together we take responsibility for not helping the body of Christ mature. We have produced miracles. We have produced signs and wonders. But the average believer is not mature at all. We do not understand the speakings of the spirit. We do not know how to interpret spiritual things. We are dull of hearing. No ears that hear, no eyes that see. But God is helping us in Jesus' name. There are many other texts that talk about discernment. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 5 verse 14. Let me give it to you please. Just write very quickly. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 14. The Bible says that strong meat is for those who are of full age. Who by reason of use have learned to exercise their senses to discern between good and evil. In Acts chapter 16 from verse 16 to 18 when you read Acts 16 from verse 16 to 18 Paul came into a city and there was a young lady the Bible called her a damsel he said that this lady had the spirit of divination 
and some business people saw her and saw the potentials in her and they negotiated she would give word of knowledge and prophecy and she would bring money and the bible says they made much gain with it and then one time she saw paul preaching and here's what she said that's why you need discernment these are the holy men of god they have come to show us the way of righteousness let me tell you what many of us will do say wow you mean how long have you been in ministry I never knew that. I mean, you are so generous. You don't know me. You're already talking about me. So let's walk together. Can we walk? Come to my pulpit on Sunday, even if it's a Saturday night. Listen, please. Hallow your altar. Don't bring anybody just because you saw gifts. Let there be a system of vetting for the sake of the sheep. Are we together? These are the men. The first day, Paul kept quiet. The second day, the Bible says she kept doing it. One time, Paul looked and said, wow, prophesying, word of knowledge. And Paul just switched in the realm of the spirit and saw a demon manipulating and said, look, hurry up, let's, we must make gate. And Paul casted that demon. You know, they beat Paul because of it. The rest is history. The people were angry because they knew that business was closed for them. As soon as the lady was delivered, she got up. Madam, are you seeing nothing? I'm not seeing anything again. Lord, give us discernment. First Kings chapter 3, verse 16 to 28. First Kings chapter 3, verse 16 to 28. We don't have the time, but let me give you that story. I wanted to use it as the text, the classic text to explain discernment for you. The Bible says that God gave Solomon an understanding heart. And his first test was two harlots who came before him. Praise God. The Bible says that those, all of them had, you know, they had a child each. And then the Bible says, whilst they were sleeping, one slept on her child. I don't know what kind of sleep that was. And suffocated the child to death. Then she got up in the middle of the night, shook her child and found out her child was dead and quietly replaced the child. The next day when they got up, there was, there was an issue. The woman wanted to breastfeed her child. And notice that the child was dead but she looked well and said no this is not my child off they went to Solomon and when they got there the woman who swapped the child started you know they started advocating and said this and that and that and Solomon looked that was a serious situation now notice this is what I want to teach you notice how Solomon manifested discernment the first thing he did was he said bring the sword that's the word of God go and get me the sword this confusion requires the word of God that is able to cut asunder and divide between bone and marrow. That knife was a similitude of the sword of the spirit. Discernment is impossible if you do not understand the character of God. Not just the word of God. You must know what God can do and what he cannot do. The operation of any spirit must be consistent with the general operation of God. Such that even if you do not find a scripture for it, it still must be consistent verbatim. And so when they brought the sword, he said, bring the child. Bring the issue of contention. This is how we are going to discern. We are going to use the word of God to divide that issue. And immediately he lifted the sword. The sword was not for the child it was for their hearts the woman the woman whose child was like the bible says can a mother forget her suckling child i said no no please if it's issue of death now hand it over and the other woman was saying you see i'm right and solomon said i've gotten my answer madam give this woman her child go and bury your own child discernment let me tell you something in this our world somebody can steal a laptop and sell that laptop and wear a suit and swear and say me do i look like somebody who can steal a laptop you need discernment you can see somebody that looks like a thief truly looks like a thief scattered disorganized but he may be one of the most honest persons in your life is that true policemen need this our our because the number of people in prison today that are not supposed to be there. It's only God that will help. You can look at me now. Never believe that I will steal a laptop. What for? 
But what if I have a spirit that makes me steal it? Are we together now? We have blamed innocent people. They carry money in your house and you come, no discernment. You call everybody. And a smart young chap who is the thief about to go for lectures. And one guy just comes out. He's, he may not be born again, but he doesn't steal. And you look at him and say, come. Are you going to just bring this money out now? Or they will arrest you. And he say, I'm not the one. You need discernment. If you do not have discernment, you are going to destroy your leadership because the world is full of deception. Are we together? Someone can be killing you and look at you and smile while you are dying, while they are piercing you. That's the person who said, don't promote this person. This person is not from this state. And you come and meet him and say, sir, my portion is stretching. He said, my son, ha, oh yeah, sit down. What did you discuss with them? And they were busy, this fool. But with discernment, as soon as you sit down, something in your spirit, you may not see a vision, but something refuses to agree. Something just says, uh uh. So, have you ever wanted to do something? Maybe you wanted to do business with somebody, or you wanted to do a discussion, or you were just saying, We are going to be partners, and you could not sleep in the night. Not fear, I'm not talking of fear. For, and everything, physically speaking, was correct. Have you ever made up your mind that you are going to ask a lady out? You prayed, you fasted, you were happy. On that day, after you talking and put your tie, your spirit, your, your peace ceased. Ah. He said, I mean, I, I look forward to this time. Let me tell you why many people land into trouble. We numb those things and continue and continue. You were about to travel, but nothing in your spirit, not fear. And you ignored it. Discernment is powerful. Discernment is powerful. But let me tell you something. No matter, most people train their discernment just by prayer. They never study the word. That's why they get into confusion. Are we together? If all you do is pray and pray and pray and pray, your eyes will be open to the realm of the spirit, but your capacity to interpret the impulses will be wrong. That's why you will give false visions. You will give false interpretations. You will see a nice lady. Come, darling. You will see a nice lady like this lady now. And you just sense something demonic in her. And because you do not have the word to understand, you just look and say, Kai, I stood near this lady and I had some, this lady must be a witch. No, sir, she's not a witch. You are not a good Bible student. You are a prayer warrior, but you do not understand the word. And you are using error to now change this lady and call her a witch. Are we together now? Let's be very careful. We have, we have destroyed people's lives. Pastors have used inaccurate discernment alongside other gifts to scatter marriages. Hello? We have called everybody witch. You just turn and you look at a lady like this. You say, why are you looking fine like this? You are a witch. No, you are not a witch. Pray for two of them and see who, who gets delivered. We must be careful. Discernment is needed in our day to day. Do you know, prophets cried in the Bible when things happened and they did not see it or, or perceive it. They said, Lord, why did you hide this from me? May God build us to a point where nothing passes above you without your spirit receiving the sin. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Or some of us have those impulses, but we do not know how to interpret it and respond to it. You've been having an impulse like death is around the corner, but you didn't know what to do until somebody died and said, Yeah, so this is what I've been feeling. Those impulses are not caused by demons. It is the Holy Spirit. Listen to my message, spiritual perception. The Holy Spirit is attempting to communicate to you. If you do not have the word of God, your dreams will be corrupted. Hello? Because dreams and visions are also an extension of discernment. Am I blessing you? One of the most deceptive tools that Satan is using now, I think in the last four or five years, has been aberrated dreams and visions. God would make your destiny, the devil would try to use the face of your destiny helper to chase you in a dream. You stand up and bind him for two hours, reject him in the physical, 
and remain poor and broke forever. We have to be careful. Satan has made families fight today by using the faces of mothers and fathers and you just say, I saw my mother with a knife. I say, I don't care. She will die. Be careful. Be careful. Listen, our only basis for escaping error is the word of God. Please, you have to believe what I'm saying. The study of scripture is important. It gives us an insight into how God works so we can judge from that lens. There are many dreams when you get up, you are just supposed to say nonsense. Blast in tongues for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, one hour, and that ends it. But some of us document everything. Plus, wicked dreams from the pit of hell, we document it. And then when you are mentoring somebody one day, you say, these are my cup of dreams, read it. And then the guy reads it and says, wow, strange creatures. I said, it's the realm of the spirit, just keep reading. You see, let me tell you, don't laugh. I'm saying this because there are people now who are not even sure of anything again. Is that true? Satan can manipulate dreams. One brother can have a dream and see ten sisters. He saw one. When he was praying about her, he saw another. You, you see confusion? I'm not saying he's a bad brother. But now you've seen ten ladies. You are now confused. So even if somebody comes to prophesy and say, it's, it's um, sister seven that you saw, number seven. You say, what of two? I, I first saw one before seven and confusion. What of people who marry and have dreams and see someone who is not their husband and get up and say, that means I made a mistake. I knew it. I knew that this, look, you are married, you are married. There is grace to live. There is grace to work it out. It is this lack of thing that can make a man who has been with a woman for 20 years. She gave you children. All of a sudden, you made money. And then you go and meet. And, and it's usually us, prophets and apostles. You come and meet us and then we just conjure all kinds of stories. The man goes back home and drives the wife. Say discernment. Say it again, discernment. You need discernment. You need discernment to know who to help. Someone comes to lie down in your room all through that night. Strange occurrences happen. It's, it's not a devil, but he needs help. Are we together? People bring atmospheres. Discernment helps you to pick the impulses of people. Sometimes as I minister to people, that's how I know they're they are in trouble. They may come out for something else, but as I stand, there are all kinds of things happening and I know that something is wrong. Something is wrong. When you train yourself, you can discern the presence of angels. You will not see them, but you can describe them. It's a mystery. You will know, not just that they are angels, but what kind of angels and their operation. You can know their direction. Are you see if now you see let me tell you if your spirit is not trained to understand this you will always think that the people who are saying it are lying and there are people who are lying are we together but you can discern it you can know you can train yourself in a room by the time you are worshiping and the shekinah of god comes not just by your shaking you know i'm not alone this is zion now this room has changed you, that's how you discern anointings as a man of God and you don't use anointing like a general purpose machine gun you won't be effective in ministry like that because you will be ministering an area you sense the anointing but you could not discern what kind of anointing and to what degree so we can be ministering here now and all of a sudden the healing anointing now begins to come if you do not have that discernment you can be saying something else and you see the anointing just like the Holy Spirit is very sensitive. When the anointing comes into a place and it's not acknowledged and channeled by faith for operation, it will be unfruitful, as powerful as it is. Nothing works without faith, even the anointing. Everyone say discernment. Think of how many things that have happened in our lives because we lack discernment. We need to cry for discernment we need to cry for discernment can we pray in one minute say lord discernment grant discernment 
to discern good and evil to discern opportunities to discern helpers to discern enemies to discern doors to discern manipulations of demons over my life Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need discernment. I think he was in Koinonia here one time after a very hot miracle service. The very next day, some guys called a lady. They called the lady and said she won. Uh, I, 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 don't, I can't remember the amount, but a very huge amount, you know. Let's assume maybe one million or five million. And told her you won it make sure you don't tell anybody quietly find your way to the front of i think it was um, maybe first bank or somewhere like that and they met that lady there the rest is history the next thing that lady found herself in kaduna in a building one of our ladies she's no longer here found herself in kaduna they took her somewhere in your kaduna one place that looks like a warehouse it was as if her eyes I don't know how to you you get what i'm saying as if you are you are you are awake but it's as if they did something to your eyes and all of a sudden her it's like her eyes she came back to herself and she called me i said where are you and she said i'm so 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 please i said hey, can you walk out and see a bike there i said take a bike immediately straight i told her take a bike straight to cow no matter how much just arrive there first I was waiting for that lady until she arrived in and I said what happened to you she said honestly she doesn't know I remember one thief that pastor Jake's caught in the, I think pastor Jake was going to Sabo or something and then the guy was you know some of them use charm abracatabra they sit down and they do something they, they don't put their hand there they can just hang it around and your money follows them from today that devil that comes near you the the fire and the discernment you will you will know and you will hold the hand and tell him look not everybody is a normal human being there are people who are men plus possibilities men plus possibilities hallelujah can we touch on one more gift let's touch on diverse kinds of tongues How many have I done? One, two, three. Let's do four. We can continue next week because there's something I want to talk about that is hot in my spirit. I was preparing it well. I was, let's just talk about tongues. The Bible tells us that there are diverse kinds of tongues. Everybody say diverse kinds of tongues. When the Bible says diverse, that means that there are different kinds of tongues. Probably, I think one of the greatest conflicts between and thank God for great men of God like Reverend Tende who wrote a book. I think it was a book particularly tailor-made to the Northern Church to help most every Christian pray in tongues. Wonderful text, you can get it and read it. It was an attempt to give a, a very solid 21st century biblical foundation because probably one of the greatest points of conflict between the Pentecostal charismatic and the orthodox is this dividing line of this subject of tongues is that true many of us come from backgrounds and families where people have different kinds of responses some of us even as we are now probably we are still there's an internal war over the issue of tongues the Bible talks of diverse kinds of tongues and in 1st Corinthians 13 Paul gives us a little, he opened it more to us. He says, though I speak with tongues of men and tongues of angels, tongues of men refer to any earthly language, the language understood by men, used by inhabitants upon the earth. The tongues of angels refer to supernatural communications, not just languages used by angels, angelios, messengers any being that hails from the realm of the spirit communicating a language that is not known to men is called the tongues of angel it was an ancient way of communicating spiritual things the bible 
and theologically speaking identifies broadly speaking three kinds of tongues number one is what we call tongues for personal edification and growth you may want to write it down maybe you will help somebody with it tongues for personal edification and growth first corinthians 14 and verse 2 the bible speaks there he says he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men but to god not unto men but to god so there is tongues that is for personal edification and growth there's tongues that the bible says that is a sign to unbelievers are we together as was the case in acts chapter 2 when you read from verse 4 to 12 the day of pentecost the bible says that the people were filled with the holy ghost and began to speak in tongues and among the many variations of tongues they were communicating earthly languages are we together and most of the people came and heard them let's go to verse 6 just give us verse 6 and let's let's look at what it says and when the sound occurred the multitudes came together and they were confused because everyone heard them speak in his own language can you imagine almost every language there was represented someone was communicating it now the communicators did not even know what language they were speaking but the listeners they were not just speaking a language in the spirit and interpreting it they were communicating a language they never learned hallelujah a sign to unbelievers history is full of people who have done that it happened to kenneth e hagin it happened to rw shambach of blessed memories people who would go to certain lands to preach and there would be no interpreter and the power of god would fall on them and they would preach in chinese fluently for that period of time afterwards everything goes down so there is tongues as a sign to unbelievers then number three there is tongues as a ministry gift tongues as a ministry gift for the edification of the body tongues as a ministry gift for the edification of the body first corinthians chapter 14 when you read from verse 4 and 5 5 particularly the Bible talks to us about that. Tongues. Very important. It says, I wish you all spoke with tongues. But even more that you should prophesy. It says, for he who prophesies is greater than he who speaks in tongues. Unless. That means this is the condition for them to become equal. We are coming there. That the one prophesies is greater than the one who manifests these kinds of tongues unless that means the moment there is an interpreter what he's speaking and the interpretation will equal prophecy are we together now yes now let me show you where the confusion is before we talk about diverse kinds of tongues give us verse 29 and 30 this is where many people have erroneously carved out a basis for confusion 12 29 corinthians first corinthians 12 12 29 and 30 are all apostles what's the answer no are all prophets no are all teachers no are all workers of miracles no watch this now do all have gifts of healing no here's where many of our dear wonderful men and women of god who are well-meaning love the lord but have inaccurate understanding of the word of god this is where the confusion has come it says do all speak with tongues now look at what context of tongues the next verse to all interpret so he's talking about tongues as a ministry gift not tongues as for your personal edification are we together now not everybody will manifest the gift of diverse kinds of tongues what is it really the gift of diverse kinds of tongues is a supernatural communication listen prophecy in an unknown, unknown an unknown language be it heavenly or earthly prophecy in an unknown language you are communicating a word from the lord to the people of god but it is in a language that is not known by you the speaker and most most often than not by the listeners when you communicate a word from the lord 
that is supposed to edify the people are we together now but it's just that it came in a language that is not known by you the speaker nor the listeners there must be the spirit of god must move upon you the speaker or another person to break down that spiritual message you brought so that the listeners can hear and apply their faith to it and receive So when I begin to say everybody pray in tongues, there are a number of people who have problem with it and say, no, it's not in the Bible. It, it was there in the day of Pentecost. The church in Corinth were manifesting it. In fact, let me tell you this. Paul himself made a very profound statement and he said, I thank my God I pray in tongues more than ye all. When you read 1 Corinthians 14 verse 18 and then you read verse 39. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 18 and then verse 39 he says i thank my god i speak with tongues more than you all paul is saying look 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 i pray in tongues more than ye all not just that i i interpret all of this see that it is important please listen to me if you are here seated maybe you are just coming today inside or outside and you have shortchanged yourself because you have probably been sincerely but wrongly indoctrinated that praying in tongues is a gift that is for a few people the person who communicated that is not in error he was only incomplete is that true what kind of tongues if he means the gift of diverse kinds of tongues he's correct it's not for everybody the bible says that and where that gift is manifested it is only beneficial to the body if there is an interpreter the individual who communicated it or another person but the Bible says the tongues for edification does not need interpretation because we're not speaking to men. We are speaking to God. 14 verse 2. See that? Are we together now? Have you gotten that clearly? So this is very, very important. You are here and you are not filled with the Holy Spirit. I can begin to give you a rundown of several things you are missing. When the ministry was a lot smaller, I used to do that by myself. Then Pastor Jake's came join a Jimmy too used to join and now the ministry is, is so large we've handed everything to the prayer department and boy are they doing a great job if you are here you are not filled with the Holy Spirit with evidence of praying in tongues I want you to know that Tuesday is a wonderful opportunity for you come whether or not is their their baptism you know a prayer you just come and make sure that they can minister to you hallelujah let me stop here and talk on words we will take from interpretation of tongues and, and the rest because next week, please don't mix next week. It will be a very great impartation. The Lord instructed me to activate these gifts. But I want to talk on words. The Holy Spirit, while I was getting ready to go and take my bath, I was just, you know, praying a little. And then the Holy Spirit began to minister to me. The anointing of the Spirit just came strong upon me. And the Lord told me that I should speak to people about words. Write this down. Words are God's instrument of creation. Words. Next week when I teach you the, I, we finish the vocal gifts and the power gifts, we'll talk some more. But it's important for you to know. Words are God's instrument of creation. And one classic proof of spiritual growth and maturity is the ability to speak consistent with the word of God. Listen carefully. The ability for your communications and your speakings to always without fail be in line with the word of God. Now sometimes in an attempt to press into deeper dimensions of God, listen carefully and I must admit this to you. You know sometimes as we press towards superior dimensions in the spirit which is valuable, we tend to trivialize some of these foundational truths and look at them as though they are basic they are for children at every level of your work with God your words will be the programmers of your destiny write it down your words are the programmers of your destiny you don't talk anyhow speak antichrist you must culture your words by the word of God you must ensure that your communication is building your life and your destiny. Many of us have destroyed our lives because we have allowed our words. 
let me show you a few scriptures that will really challenge you can i give you some verses about words that have really really blessed me i tried to write the five or six most powerful scriptures i have found about words and i will give it to you ready media please help us if we can project them they will be great um we we'll need some speed here so that we can pray number one john 6 63 john 6 63 the words that i speak unto you jesus is speaking he says it is the spirit that quickeneth listen the flesh profited nothing the words that i speak unto you they are not just sounds that enter your ears they are spirit and life so while you are saying it is not for people like us we are the nobodies you are sending spirits you are sending instruments of creation you are sending messengers into your future programming woe, programming tragedies for you words are powerful god created the universe through words the only thing god did not create through words is man and he said it is just that he added with his hand again every other thing god said god saw god said god saw number two ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4 and then we'll go to Matthew 12, 37. Let me give us a verse ahead. Media, please give us quickly. Ecclesiastes 8, verse 4, and then Matthew 12, 37. It says, where the word of a king is, these are the scriptures that have blessed me and shaped my understanding of the power of the spoken word. Where the word of a king is, there is what? Power except you are not a king but if you are a king and the bible says five verse ten of revelations don't go there just write it it says that we have been made unto our god kings and priests a kingdom of priests and we shall how do we reign remember i've taught you dominion mandate one of the ways that we legislate is through the power the our legislature through words for where the word of joshua selman is there is power where the word of anybody in koinonia who has an understanding that means if i see things happening in my life and i don't like what is the first thing to do please talk to me what is the first thing to do listen listen don't let anybody make you feel these things are basic no you didn't create the realm of the spirit you came from there anybody that is born and says i will not eat food the regular way i want to live my own way except you have caught the revelation of being a breatharian just know that you are going to die and die you will die and you will shrink and die like somalian children the authorized way is that you continue to eat where the word of a king is there is power matthew chapter 12 and verse 37 for by thy words thou shalt be justified like a court of law there is a spiritual court right the realm of the spirit works on a legal basis he said for by thy word as easy as salvation is it takes words to impart the life of christ to you the word is near thee even in thy heart and in thy mouth the word of faith that we preach right romans 10 verse 8 to 10 for by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned so when you are condemned who condemned you it's not really the, your neighbor no no you only attracted to your life what your words made i refuse to speak negative about myself i refuse it you will never hear me say anything sarcastic about myself i love myself uh, i think it was school of ministry students i was teaching and i was telling them that these people that hang themselves it has been a wonder for me for many years even if i were not born again i won't hang myself no i love myself passionately hang myself no i may quarrel myself i may challenge but to hang to go and stand on a rope and just tie myself no by your words you are justified by your words you are condemned Isaiah 43 verse 26 then we go to numbers 14 28 and then just two more and we're done I just felt like speaking to us about words by the Spirit of God because many believers are becoming careless 
we speak anyhow and we don't mind and we keep programming things that destroy us and then we say it doesn't matter it does matter brothers and sisters everybody who worried everybody who strives for mastery must do so lawfully we don't invent the rules we find them out it's an ancient path and we walk in it Isaiah 43 and verse 26 he says the B part he said declare thou that thou mayest be justified how do you justify yourself so how does the sick justify himself I'm healed in the name of Jesus yes there might be pains but I decree and declare by his stripes I am healed now when you are saying this you see a lot of emojis look at you and say you are still a baby Christian until one day as matured as you think you are the devil is not a fool he will just allow pride to reach the highest point and sweep you one day in a way that you won't believe I speak over my life I speak over Koinonia Koinonia is planted Bible says they that be planted in the house of the Lord they shall flourish in the courts of our God even in old age he said they shall be fat and flourishing many of us used to do it before but now that we are becoming men of God, we are throwing it away. Get back. It is the childlike principle that has lifted ordinary people to become mighty. If I tell you I don't speak the word, I'll be lying. I speak the word. Shabakatoria. Joshua Selman, you are blessed. You are blessed. I have a little blackboard with scriptures. I recite those scriptures when I'm praying. And God did extraordinary things through the hands of Joshua Selman. So that handkerchiefs and aprons. You don't wait till you see the result. It is the words that command the results. In the name of Jesus I declare wealth and riches are in my house. Durable riches. I decree and declare I shall not die. I'm exempted from the arrows that fly by day. The noisome pestilence. People like Pastor Chris who say, keep, how, how does he say it? I, 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 keep, keep, thank you. Keep saying it. Don't stop talking it. Do it, oh. Do it like that. That's how it works. Believe me, that's how it works. You don't speak once and keep quiet. Listen, if I speak and I say in the name of Jesus, any spirit oppressing anybody and people are outside there, why can I not speak and say in the name of Jesus, everywhere my destiny helper is? By the favor of God, come. That you saw it in the Bible is no guarantee that it will happen in your life. You must speak. Speaking is so important to the point that they had to shut the mouth of Zechariah so that he would not speak nonsense. If he had spoken, he would have altered John the Baptist's destiny. Numbers 14, 28. Very interesting scripture. I found this scripture during a retreat. Numbers 14, 28. Say unto them, as truly as I live, saith the Lord, as ye have spoken in my ears, not as you desire quietly, as you have spoken in my ears. Question, where was the ears when you were speaking? Did the ears come near your mouth? So while you were blasting and saying, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, I decree and declare, oh grave, where is your sting? Oh death, where is this and that? And you are prophesying and you are speaking and you are saying in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I have a job. The Lord grants me favor. I may not have an uncle, I may not have an auntie, but in the name of Jesus, God raise helpers. The Bible says God is bringing his ears down and is hearing. He says, as I, you have spoken in my ears, so will do not to your neighbor, to you, to you, to you. Isaiah 44 verse 26 Isaiah 44 verse 26 Isaiah 44 verse 26 talking about the Lord it says he that confirmeth the word of his servant confirm meaning you speak and go let me tell you something and performeth the counsel of his messengers I want to teach you something about faith. Look up. Get any of my teachings on faith. Let me teach you something about faith. You see, Pastor Kong. Satan has lived very long in this realm. Believers, hear me. Let me speak to you. 
Satan has lived very long in this realm and he understands that man out of the assistance of the spirit has one limitation. It's called our humanity. And part of the components of our humanity is that we can be wary. Is that true? Remember the Bible says the keeper of Israel, you know, doesn't sleep, doesn't slumber. But men sleep and they can slumber. Are we together? So this is what he does. Satan knows that your eyes, your optical eyes, your ears, all of these things control your perceptions, hence your convictions. And so what he does is he, he makes sure that perpetually before you is an awareness of your limitation. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Listen to me. So while you are praying, shakato katakata, in the middle of hot prayer, the devil just comes in and says, where is the husband? And you would think it will enter you because you are in the spirit. It will just enter you and you say, oh God, am I not a beautiful lady? What is all this? You see, he has brought you back to his realm. The Bible says to walk in the spirit. Let me tell you what to do when that happens. That's a sign that you, a reaction is happening in the spirit. Every time you make such a proposition, please help that lady. That is a sign that something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Are we together? I remember the time when God showed me the vision of Koinonia. We're about to start. I saw overflows. Remember? I, I said I saw people coming from other cities, other places. That was what I saw. As at that time, they had not even expanded CGC. I remember when I was praying and I was going to go and announce it. Well, I was praying, 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 praying. There came that voice of doubt again. Don't think it doesn't happen to me. No. Most people will lie to you and say it doesn't happen. It's a lie. It happens to everybody. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That while you are praying and the devil says you now want to disgrace yourself. And God, you have not even gotten a venue. They have not given you anything. Just because God showed you CGC. You now want to make a stupid statement. But the Bible says the spirit of faith has a character. It speaks. It doesn't wish and hide. No, no, no. It speaks. Kabakoto Sakatayada. The spirit of faith it speaks speaks oh let me let me play it safe when it, when the answer comes so that i won't be embarrassed question whoever takes the glory should take the shame every time you speak you put pressure on god's integrity lord i take your word and i shout it let them hear so that if it does not happen they, no 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 i can't give you the glory and take the shame Many of us here, we have been threatened by our physical circumstances into silence. Let the redeemed of the Lord not whistle. Say so. Say so. I say it all the time. I stand before my mirror, Joshua Selman, you are anointed. You are rising from glory to glory. Superior dimensions of the anointing. The favor of God is upon you. Sometimes I'm listening to Koinonia message. And while apostle is prophesying, I'm there in my house kneeling down and listening. Because there are two different people, I tell you. And I listen, I listen to apostle's message. I listen to his message more than many of you here. I can sit down and claim because I'm the one ministry and never be blessed from it. There is no koinonia message I've not listened to. Not for clarity and administration. God is my witness. I stand before him in your presence. Lift up your hands and I'm on my knees. Sometimes I play miracle service messages all while I sleep. And I have strange encounters. Don't think this thing we are just faking it. You don't walk this thing. It will never work. God is not a herbalist. Are we together? Sometimes I carry maybe Benny Hinn message or something. I'm playing and in the sleep it continues mysterious encounters when you wake up the devil will say pastor alpha you have been prophesying for two weeks you to reason and you say no sir this is what many of us do god but it's true now see if you if you don't stop getting embarrassed by the absence of your result you will never walk by faith are you hearing what i'm saying this shame shame believers hear me I'm speaking to you by the spirit this shame consciousness 
of looking like a fool while awaiting your manifestation every miracle you see will risk taken by faith Lord I thank you nations are coming this ministry is rising oh you are talking too much thank God I'm not talking to you Lord you who I'm talking to you know me I, come on please don't go and shout in somebody's house it's not your house that's why the Bible says, close your door enter your room close your door talk to your father there may not be money now but in the name of Jesus father I'm a tither I'm a giver in the name of Jesus I prophesy Jakatabata. and while you are speaking the Holy Ghost just says dance for one hour aha aha the word has come and you put one hot Igbo high praise hot high praise you may not know how to sing well she can sing for you you know those 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 wonderful Igbo sisters and you are dancing Apostle, I can't dance. Dance anyhow. It's an instruction. You dance like David danced. And while you are dancing, all of a sudden, in that foolishness of faith, the God I serve, who takes the weak things, the foolish things, is working a miracle. You see, let me tell you this. Spiritual people must be childlike. Not childish, childlike. We are too matured for results. All this big manism in the presence of God. No, sir. Are we together? Yes. You must speak. You get up and you have a bad dream. You are lying down and one spirit comes to sleep with you and oppress you. And you get up and you say, Kai, this thing has happened again. No, sir. Jeketos katabarakotosia. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that I've been raised with Christ. And the devil says, didn't the spirit know while you're there? Just keep it. Keep at it. Satan is a coward. When he looks at, let me tell you something. When you are bold enough, you will resist him and I promise you he will flee. Is God speaking to us? We have been wasting words. The words that are supposed to be used for edification, we use that energy for gossip, for backbiting, for speaking words of unbelief. Pastor Alpha, that, that, that prayer we prayed that time, Shall me you prayed it too. Let's be honest. Uh, not that I'm saying there's no faith to it. That's not what I'm saying. But is it really working? Just don't. You don't need to let nobody know. Just whisper it to me. That's unbelief. That thing you did is unbelief. Because you are trying to play games with God. Look, if you are in this thing, enter it and stay there and die in it. If you are not in it, then don't fake it. I'm a talking spirit. Truly I talk. Not talkativeness. Reduce half of the time we use jumping around and talking stories and talking nonsense. Go back to the secret place. Kalabotas Kaliadash. This family is a family of peace. This is my husband. This is my wife. We love ourselves. No demon from anywhere is coming to scatter us. You call your child. Daddy, he thinks you carry him. Say, no, 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 I'm a priest now. This is not daddy. Bring your head. Shatos katabaradaba. Let him just be playing around the head or cry. Leave, leave him there. Don't feel sorry for him. Pray. You get up and walk around your house. Dr. Paul Enenche was saying something. They are, the Lord's garden that they are building now. He says almost every day he goes there to speak and build. Just the zinking of it. The, the roofing of that place is six million dollars. Six million dollars to face 70,000 capacity seater. It's not just ritual. He will go there quietly in the night at his level and status. Jakatabada. Lord, you have given the instruction. Let those who will publish it come. The Lord gave the word. I pray over Koinonia. Lord, thank you financial help us don't just say favor is happening automatically no lord there are men and women who will bless me every service i pray that prayer i'll be honest with you lord i am serving you in truth and the bible says he that ministers to you in carnal things lord i expect favor i'm a receiver with thanksgiving i receive grace you have a troublesome tenant someone who is disturbing you and making life easy instead of fighting physically i've taught you spiritual intelligence 
Lord, this woman is making life com uncomfortable for my children. In the name of Jesus, I make decree. I'm a man of peace. I declare my borders are peaceful. Even God, who quickened the dead and collects, magnetizes, attracts things that be not as though they were. This is not positive confession. This is creation. 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 We are going to speak. Are you ready to speak? Please rise up on your feet. Let's close for tonight. Rise up on your feet. Brothers and sisters, I want you to believe these things that I teach you. These are the keys. These are the keys that produce the results we desire. These are the keys. I want you to lift your voice in one minute. Our time is gone. Just lift your voice and thank the Lord for this word you have received tonight. Bless you, Pastor. Thank you, Jesus, for your word, for your power, for your grace. The doctors are doing their best. We have doctors here. But it's their educated opinion. Jesus said, I am the truth. You go to school, they teach you to believe certain things. But when you come to the word, he teaches you. I am one minister of the gospel who believes in God. When I read my Bible, I believe. And I, if I be lifted, I will draw all men. That's the truth. So my job is to lift him up and then he will draw all men. That's what he said. That's what he said. That when men say there is a casting down, the truth about it is that you will say there is a lifting up. So I expect a lifting up all the time because you see a true believer is a possessor. Tonight you have come here. Koinonia is a place where we tell you the truth. And shortly the power of God will prove that truth to you. That what you call a hopeless situation is only a relative statement. When you come before him, he can turn your wilderness into a fruitful ground. Hallelujah. Everybody say Jesus the truth. Son of man! What information do you know about these bones? Can they live again? And he said, Lord, I, I honestly, the reality of these bones, now I don't know. And he says, look, these bones can live. I believe, therefore prophesy. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded. The truth is not just an information, it's a force. It's a force that compels things to look like God. No matter what it is. The truth is God's mindset. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. The truth is that they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. The truth remains true regardless of your experience or otherwise. You see, this is the thing about a believer. Your personal experience is too small to judge the validity of the word of God. If I die of sickness today, God is still a healer. Is that true? The information I'm sharing with you is very ego stinging because when you've tried everything you know to do, have you seen people say, I've done everything I know to do? Or I've done everything there is. No. You just did what you knew to do. But there can be another way. There can be another information. Someone can be trying to open a door. Simply because someone told him turn it once. And he tries, tries. And then another information comes in. Lift it up.
done it two times. Just because of that little information, that person can stand there two hours wrestling with that door. Arise, shine, your light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. John 1 verse 5, the light shines in darkness. Arise, shine, the light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. I will arise and shine, arise, my light is come. And the glory of the Lord, the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Give us Isaiah 60 verse 1. If we can get it in Amplified, that's wonderful, otherwise no problem. Amplified says this, it says, arise from the depression and the prostration that situations and circumstances have kept you it says rise to a new light arise from the depression and circumstance and prostration in which circumstances have kept you rise to a new life then it says shine be radiant with the glory of god let me tell you something there is an information that when you catch you can start laughing at your challenges. You will not even pray about it again. It will turn to laughter because you know that that truth will squeeze it into pieces. I tell you this. Hallelujah. Ah. Jehovah will be your everlasting light. He'll be your glory, your strength and your sight. The light of the moon will be like the light of the sun And the light of the sun will shine seven times as bright When Yahweh binds up the wounds of this world Heals all the bruises inflicted by this world True. There are things I found in my life about ministry there are things I found in my life about the anointing. When I found them, I jumped. Jumped. Bishop Oyedeko will tell you that light broke and he screamed and turned and said, yeah, I will never be poor again. There are other people who have caught certain things and they screamed and said, I will never be a mediocre again. What have you found? I found your word and I did eat it. It was a joy and a rejoicing. He said, my son, eat thou honey when you find this thing they are alive to those who find them not to christians there is something you can find believe me brothers and sisters if you have not found it you will think those who are talking are arrogant people there are people who have found things the bible says the kingdom of god is like a man who had a treasure and it was missing for as long as it was missing that man was redundant and then he took light and then he started checking it are we together could it be that there is an information that you need to know about god about life about yourself it was gideon who was hiding because there was an information he did not know and all of a sudden the angel appears and says in case you do not know here is an information you are a mighty man of valor and Gideon said, nobody has told me this. I am the least in my father's family and we are the least in the tribe. And that man arose from that revelation. I'm walking in power. Walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. I'm walking in power. Walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. Everybody sing, say, oh, 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 I know who I am. One more time. Oh, 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 I know who I am. Hold on. Say in the name of Jesus. Shout it. Say it again in the name of Jesus. The days of ignorance are over in my life prophesied say the days of ignorance the days of lies the days of deception are over in my life 
lift your voice and pray in one minute lord i entertain your light there is something you can know about you that will bring you into the anointing there is something your mother told you growing up you are a failure but hear the truth hear the truth there is something africa is speaking to you that we are a third world nation But in the name of Jesus, I declare. Shabra koto sodo bakata, ende karoto shubra kata. I believe the truth. I believe the truth. No more lies in my life. Everything that is not consistent with the word of God, I refuse to believe it. Why we look not at the things that are seen? For the things that are unseen, for the things that are seen are temporal, subject to change. Hallelujah. Please sit down. So they may look at you and say, Sister, you are getting to 40, no husband. Will you ever marry? That's their information. You see, when you introduce Jesus to the situation, the calculation changes. Uh -uh. Something that should be zero. Just because you introduce the reality, everything changes. The psalmist said, I had fainted, but God. I had fainted. I knew that I was over, all, but God. When they brought him into the situation, it changed everything. Stop listening to lies. There are lies on TV. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are lies that we hear on newspapers. Oh, stop tithing. All those men of God are out to collect your money. It's with your money they use to buy clothes. And they rob you and you listen to a lie. And stay back and authorize Satan to destroy you. Our society is full of lies. People make money through lies. Jesus, the truth. There were many things. I didn't see many successful people in my life growing up. Those who were successful were very far from me. Culturally speaking, societally speaking, there was a mindset that was communicated. But when I began to search the word goodness, I found another report. A report I was not born with. And all of a sudden, Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, you know, today we took a stroll, um, myself and the head of protocol, after we went to greet a bereaved family, we went somewhere and I was taking them inside the campus and I decided to take a tour of the new structures they are building. And while I started passing some sites around the dam and down my eyes were almost, I was trying to fight tears. Do you know why? Because I saw locations where years ago I sat down. To study the truth i passed one place a botanical garden on your way to the dam i used to enter that corner and smuggle myself through somewhere and sit down broke but had access to the truth a failure and a mediocre but had access to the truth and this bible god gave me an assurance with the word if you believe me i will not play games with you and i was stupid enough to believe i said lord after all, by default, I don't even have much. So if I don't believe you, I don't have any option. Ah! Look what is made in my life. Listen, if you choose to believe the truth, he will change you. They've lied to you that your life is not doing well just because um, there is... There is, uh, there is something you are not, you know, you need to go and connect to this. You need to do that. I believe in favor. But favor is only when it comes from God through men, not from men. If you don't give 150,000 to so, so, so person in federal ministry of this, you will never get a job. That's how we do it. You are not part of the we. And you find out. And the Bible says, that when a man's ways pleases the Lord, that's the truth. That he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. 
Are we together? Listen, the part of scripture you find and believe is the part that works for you. Yes. You can see two people operating on different dimensions of realities. Is the part you find. I have found from this word. Listen, and I don't want you to be offended by what I'm saying. But I have found from this word that it is possible for a man to fulfill his days. I found it. I used to fear death. I think it's one of the things we all fear. Because the teaching I got about death was that any day can meet you anytime. And it looked like a very sincere talk until I searched. I said, God, but how can I live my entire life being afraid? I'm going to live a life traveling all the time. Right? I'm in the air, I'm on road. In the morning, in the afternoon, there are armed robbers, weather conditions. What is the guarantee that I'm going? I mean, I can't live my life. I'm going for a crusade somewhere and I'm afraid. I want to go and heal the sick, cast out demons. But me, the man of God that God will use, you are now afraid whether you arrive safely. As soon as you arrive, your heart returns back and you are like, hey, thank you, Jesus. What is torturous way of living? But there is a truth. Ha! Ah. There is something you can hold and dear death you look at it in the face and say oh death where is thy sting now you see until you have caught that truth don't make mouth this is the problem we talk nonsense in church and say all kinds of things and become victims it is the encounter of the burning bush that qualifies you to stand before pharaoh when you have seen the burning bush you can stand before pharaoh and say hey pharaoh stop oppressing god's people because Pharaoh will not let you go just because you can speak English. Jesus, the truth. Let me tell you something. Life will dare you to your face. It will take the truth to build a world of fortification. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I believe the word of God. That's why we are gathered here tonight. This is called a miracle service. There is no guarantee anywhere that anybody will be healed. There is no guarantee anywhere that devils will be casted out. Let me tell you, without understanding the truth, any action you take is arrogance. You make a fool out of yourself. What is the guarantee that in the next few minutes, the Lord is going to step in and begin to produce miracles in the lives of people? Is the truth. As at morning, when they were fixing this place, what was the guarantee that people were going to come and all the seats will be filled? What was the guarantee that people will be following us from over 45 nations of the world? Is the truth. There is an information you know. The power of God. That I believe you, oh God, and I'm ready to follow. You will not lie to me. I believe you. You are not a man that you should lie. Not the son of man. I don't doubt him. I believe you. My experiences notwithstanding, I still believe you. Number three, Jesus, the life. Hmm. A revelation of his power and his ability to make a life. Jesus, the life. John 11 verse 25 to 26. An event happened there, Lazarus was a man who had died three days and then Jesus said he sleepeth and they were going to go and resurrect him and when they went they saw his sisters crying now this was talking about physical death but it applies to every area watch this death does not just mean cessation of breathing it means cessation of life many of us are experiencing death in different areas of our lives when an organ fails that's death are we together the sons of the prophet were eating a meal and they looked and said ah there is death in this food and jesus said to her i am what what is resurrection bringing back to life something that is not supposed to have life again hallelujah that for me is the definition of hope 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 bringing back to life a dream that should not come alive again bringing back to life a destiny that should not come alive i live my life drinking and smoking 
is there hope for me jesus is called the resurrection i should have done well with my life but i'm 70 years now how many more years do i have when the resurrection comes he can bring back to life are we together i should have been a phd holder now but so 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 and so happened to me when the resurrection comes listen to me jesus has the power to make things that are dead in our lives come alive this is good news are we together so the bible says rejoice not over me my enemies you know my fall but you have forgotten that there is a mystery of resurrection rejoice not over me yes i know for now i do not have a job i lost my job yes i know that this and that may have happened in my life but there is jesus the life he can put life back he can put life back let me show you something the bible says very interesting well let's finish it i am the resurrection and the life he that believeth in me although his kidney were dead he can come alive he that believeth on me although his finances were dead he can come alive do you know that hopelessness is is one of the major causes of depression in our society you know what hopelessness is a perception that there is no press to anything that is worth producing any result again and people just give up society is full of angry people who just walk around and say look there's no hope no hope for this child no hope for this no hope for me again no i'm already past menopause no child let me just agree that i will never have a child in my life listen to what the bible says job chapter 14 please give it to us 7 to 9 job chapter 14 read it with me please one to read for there is hope for a tree for there is hope for joshua selman for there is hope for any life are you hearing what i'm saying for there is hope in spite of that medical report humanly speaking you should put your house in order ask hezekiah when a true prophet came and said hezekiah i've heard from god when a man hears from god who else do you consult but hezekiah said no way i know this mystery there is resurrection there is life there is hope he turned his face and said god let's talk i know isaiah is your prophet but i'm your child too let's talk remember now come on god don't act as if you ignore me like that and god said ah, 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 ah. he has compelled a dimension listen let me tell you tonight you have to insist for some things to come back to life don't go some of you don't even pray over some things again because in your mind you have concluded it's over that business will never come alive when do you just give glory to god it's over it has gone that destiny will never come alive but it's okay i already know that i would never walk again my leg can not walk so my focus now is to just succeed i am the resurrection and the life it says for there is hope for a tree if it be what cut down i like that word cut down not rooted out cut down means the root is still connected the mistake the enemy made was to still leave you loving god I, I i know you lost you lost joy you lost peace you made a mistake i know you now have a baby it should not be but the mistake was that you were cut down not rooted out and the bible says that it will what sprout again talk to me agriculturists that you know that you can cut a tree and children can even put satellite dish on the tree yet it still starts growing have you seen a tree that they use for pole wire it doesn't stop the tree from growing i hear the joy coming hey I hear the breakthrough coming I hear the sound coming Sound of abundance and joy I see the lifting coming yeah. Hold on, listen 
I tell you, the, the, the anointing of God is strong upon me. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Give us that scripture again. Give us that scripture. Because God wants to make a statement with this miracle service tonight. He says, for there is hope. Everybody say there is hope. Let the devil hear you. Let all the people who have sat down together in a meeting and say, will she ever rise with this carryover? With 11 carryovers, will you ever rise? The Bible says, there is hope for a tree. There is hope for a tree. It says that it will sprout again and that the tender branch will not cease. We are reading to verse 9. Though the root thereof be wax old in the earth and the stalk thereof die in the ground. Verse 9. Yet, Hold on. It didn't say through the arrival of water, the scent, proximity to life. Proximity to life. The moment you come into a place where there is life, it has not touched you yet. Your roots resonating with life. Listen, listen. Those of you who have done physics, there's something they call resonance. Is that true? That when you use a tuning fork and hit at a frequency, every other object within that frequency answers to it. You were designed by the life-giving spirit. So when Satan tries to bring death, and then you are seated somewhere, you come into an environment where there's life. Deep starts calling on to deep. Your dream starts telling you, I'm ready to come back to life. Forget the fact that I failed. Rejoice not over me, my enemy. We live in a society who are experts at burying people before they die. Ah, look at this mama. Nine children, all useless. And she's coming for koinonia. And they say, keep going. Mama, tonight, the resurrection and the life. The resurrection and the life. Hear me. How about a man of God? You know God called you. You know he anointed you. But truly you have not seen increase. Not in your life. Oh God, where will the anointing come? Or maybe you were once anointed and something happened in your life and things went down. And listen, it is true that Jesus died, but did he die forever? He died only for three days. While he had resurrected, men were still talking about his death. Could it be, hold on. Could it be that some of you, while you are in this meeting now, other people are talking about your past life. They don't know resurrection is happening. They are still sitting, discussing yesterday. So every time they look at her, they say, I know this lady. Oh, this lady is the most nonsense lady in our environment. You were right. But ask Rahab. Shabbatos Kotapriata. Hmm. Listen. Do you know why God instructed that they killed everybody in Jericho? He did not want anyone who knew Rahab's past to be part of those who follow her. Because she would be part of the lineage of Jesus. Listen. When God wants to make nonsense of Satan, he will keep quiet and allow men finish tearing you down. Sometimes you can even join them and tear yourself. And then when he's done, he says, let me now show you the expertise. Let me show you what makes me God. And he starts building. Many people conclude on men because they don't know God. This God we serve. Are we together? I always use promises. Promise, come, 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 come. With all my heart, you would have concluded this guy was a capon in black acts. Are we together? Years ago, with dreadlocks, he came to Zaria with dreadlocks and earrings. He was an occultist of the highest order, a territorial commander. He ran away because they were about to imprison him. But brothers and sisters, rejoice not over me, my enemy. No, 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 help them under the anointing, please. You would have concluded that this brother will never become a because our big mouth in society, we are experts at talking about people. But while they were talking about Saul, God was seeing Paul. Ah. 
apostle but i don't even know who my father is i'm not sure they told me that fair woman is my mother that's the kind of background i came from don't worry the god of israel is an expert look at his life now a fiery man of god with grace and power and anointing hallelujah they had concluded on zacchaeus you are a thief you are a fraudster you are an armed robber and when god was going he had to climb the tree and god said come down zacchaeus is your house i'm going let me show you that I'm, I'm going to your house and at once zacchaeus said i will repay everybody and zacchaeus completely changed hear me i came to preach to someone tonight there is a dimension of jesus called jesus the life the life the life Jesus the life Jesus the life Jesus the life that everything that has died in a man's life can come alive even time can come alive that's the God that we serve hear me you have come tonight some of us from far some of us from several things and you have come to encounter Jesus, the life, the life giving spirit. He can put life back to your finances. And the money you lost 10 years combined in one month can return to you. Listen, 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 please. Let's not make this thing look as if we are acting. We are talking about God here. apostle but this is 10 years no child and they told me that there are all kinds of cyst and growth in my stomach and then when the resurrection comes he all of a sudden first child triplets second child twins you say god stop he says stop what my name again that child one three two one registers his name the years that the canker worm has eaten Hear me, hear me. Mordecai, Mordecai did something that was good, and he was his testimony was archived in a book and dropped quietly. You see, Ba, there is a day God gets angry and vows by his name. I have seen this truly speaking that God vows a vow, read it through scripture, that he wants to lift a man. When God vows a vow to lift a man, I tell you, not even your personal faith will stop you. There is such a thing that God can say, the appointed time is come. I've seen people lifted overnight. And frankly speaking, sometimes they've not even understood certain principles. God just vowed with his name. Tonight, I want your faith to be, please, look listen you have come before god this is not a cinema to watch film you have come with your heart open i want you to insist tonight all these three dimensions are dimensions that for a taking but i perceive that one of the greatest dimensions we need is life there is too much death there is too much death in people's life dead organs hold on listen there are people here they can't walk 10 minutes. A young man, 25, 35, you walk 10 minutes, you breathe as if you would die. They go to the hospital and say, Mr. Man, almost everything we see is wrong. You need life, oh. You need life. There are many ladies here with all kinds of lumps, all kinds of demonic things. Satan attempting to put another life because there are many kinds of life. But when his life comes, when his life comes, there are destinies you look at them like walking corpses. You know everything is there. No favor, no open doors. There are many men here, you are hard working, but there is no life. You are just a body walking, sweating, toiling, the cause of hardship from morning till night, living from hand to mouth. The key is not promotion, the key is life. Life. To draw from you again 
again to drink from you again to drink from you again we've come to the road Walking out the same tonight, I insist. Lift your voice and pray, Lord. I can't go back the way I came. I place a demand, a demand on your anointing. Prayer point number two Change my level, oh God Change the dimensions Take me to another level attention praise the Lord hallelujah there's a lot to do tonight we're going to do it in this order I'm going to take the altar call now and then tonight we're going to start with the sick I just sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing hallelujah now quickly let me have your attention my God the power of God is so strong so strong I already see activities of angels you are in this place inside outside any of the overflows one two three four by the roadside i told you that the cure for the challenges of men is an encounter with jesus and there are people here some of you may be visiting for the first time but you know that you need jesus genuinely not just as a religious philosophy you truly need jesus christ some of you at one point you handed your life over to him but things went haywire and right now you know that you need to run like there's fire on the mountain overflow one overflow two 
I'm going to count one to five. Please clear the way for them. I want you to run as though you are thirsty and they told you where water is. Leave your seat right now and run, whether you are inside or outside. I'll count one to five. Keep standing. One. Koinonia, celebrate them. Two. Are you running? Run to Jesus. Lord, I'm tired of my life. Tired of the way things have been. I can't pretend it. I'm running to you now. Three. Celebrate them. Are you running? Leave your seat. Break your pride and run. I need Jesus in my life. I need Jesus in my life. This is a, a matter of urgency. This is no pretense. This is no church. I need Jesus in my life. Have you decided to follow Jesus? No turning back. Run. No turning back. Have you decided to follow Jesus? No turning back. No turning back. One more time. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I'm seeing three people in overflow. Three. There. And the Holy Spirit is telling me they are supposed to be part of these people. Overflow. Three. Please, quickly. There's so much to do. There are three people I'm seeing in overflow. Three outside. And the Lord is telling me they should be there. Don't allow your friends stop you. I'm still going to give one more minute. One more minute. As the Holy Spirit is convicting you. You're saying, I want to come, but I'm a bit shy. Run. Make your way. Quickly. Come and join us. Come and join us. Hallelujah. Look at me. Please let them come and join. Those of you in front, please look at me. I salute you. This is serious business here. Please, there's, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Hold on. Hold on. Now, you see, when most people give their lives to Christ, they come in emotionally, and some are not even serious. They come laughing, pinching themselves, Lord Jesus, and they are laughing and not serious. This Jesus business is life. We are not talking about a certificate. We are not talking about a husband or wife. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Please hear me. As you are here, make sure that your decision is genuine. No one condemns you, but I want you to mean it. Please don't, don't play games with God. This is the God of heaven. I want you to say this from the depth of your heart. All of you in front here and those joining quickly. If you are joining them, make your way to the front. Say this passionately and truly. Say, Lord Jesus. Say it again, Lord Jesus. Some of you are not saying it. Say it one more time, Lord Jesus. I believe in you. That you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you shed your blood for my sin. I believe that you resurrected for me. This night, I have heard your word. And I declare that I need you in my life. I hand over my life to you. From now and forever, I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that from today, I am a child of God. Satan, you had my confession. Stay away from my life forever in the name of Jesus.
let me pray for you now jesus we present to you the ones you died for when you hung upon that cross you saw them and they were worth your blood your tears and your death i ask oh god by the power of your spirit that you preserve them let this not be an emotional decision i pray sincerely that today will become the beginning of a new season of your grace your power your mercy upon their lives i declare your sins forgiving i declare and declare that from today you walk in newness of life i set you free from everything that holds you down in the name of jesus christ amen and amen i congratulate all of you for making this most noble decision never forget this day never forget this day hallelujah praise god now i will ask you to do something very quickly and then you come back and join the service i want you to follow who is waving his hands follow that gentleman waving his hands and they will lead you out and there are a number of people who will welcome you have your details please cooperate with them and uh, all the people attending to them let's make it fast so that they can return back please politely follow them they'll ask for your details cooperate with them everyone this way let's honor them as they go very quickly hallelujah can we help them let's make it fast now we're going to do it this way um i'm going to start praying for the sick right right away we're going to pray for the sick now so that we can take out time um let's deal with the sick first i already sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing lady look at me the lord is asking me to stretch my hands i command that devil let her go now you had her confession i curse you by the god of heaven i released you now i'm seeing this lady tied snakes from her leg to her head i set you free this is koinonia the place of encounter i decree and declare that from today you are set free and there's something i'm seeing in your stomach i decree and declare that it leaves you right now in the name of jesus christ now we're going to pray uh there are certain cases I want to deal with by myself tonight. Um, any case, please listen. Any case, whether you are in any of the overflows, please, I will pray for people. Overflow one, I want you to march to your overflow. Those who are trusting God, you came here with for yourself or for your loved ones. Um, but let's do it this way. All those who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, if you have an issue with barrenness or a blood related disease hiv cancer or any deadly disease whether you are in the overflow outside or what please come in and i want to minister to you myself hallelujah that doesn't mean please listen listen it doesn't mean if i'm not the one ministering to you you will not be blessed the anointing on me is upon everyone who will be standing to minister to you are we together now so let's not have a rowdy um a crowd there so overflow one i like all of you who are trusting god to be prayed for please i want you to move to your projector stands overflow two um overflow three those online connect by faith and um, we're going to be praying for you those inside make your way very quickly the special cases that i ask make your way quickly quickly please we have to be very fast there's a lot to do the reason why we take our time to minister to people like this is because god has anointed us for this reason hallelujah god has anointed us it's a privilege to carry his anointing and we must take our time to release blessings to god's people make your way quickly look how many people need the touch of god what a joy and a blessing to have the anointing and the ability to touch people can we all pray as a family whilst they are coming and ask the lord to touch and heal and bless everyone lift your voice and pray everyone lift your voice lift your voice pray it's a miracle service please those that are coming in from outside make sure it's only blood related diseases terminal diseases terminal diseases otherwise you can just wait at your projector stand and then they'll pray for you Father, you have anointed, you have anointed us in this place.
you have anointed this house to be a tabernacle of miracles lord you have produced untold testimonies is a privilege to be extensions of your hand again ministering to the needs of your people it is your desire that in every territory there must be a place where men and women can find the power of god at work and lord thank you for making this such a place tonight we pray that there will be abundance abundance of your anointing in the name of jesus tonight is serious business i really perceive that there is need to minister to people we're going to have um some of our leaders stationed in various places please i want you to trust the anointing upon them as they come to minister i'm going to just make contact with them um there will at least be two two at different different points and then we're going to pray praise the lord we'll make it very very fast and trust god to minister to you please come um pastor femi Ejimi, pastor alpha west benga promise how many of you i think we need eight people i have to lay hands on you because i sense that we need we need a, a great one two three four five uh, michael come one of these days we'll begin to train other people and help the, the idea is to help and build people um, Mike leave the keyboard um, someone else can play the keyboard you can come this is an opportunity we're going to lay hands and then we're going to trust God um, Shade will you be strong come she's always had the healing anointing you have the strength please come this lady you see it's a compendium of the healing power of God and um, so we're going to pray I think this is okay we're going to pray please those outside if if they don't ask you uh, if they are prophesying to you it's a different thing if they are giving you a word of knowledge it's all right otherwise you don't have to start talking talking and doing all of this Lord we agree right now in Jesus name my God there's such anointing on my hands as they lay hands on the people Lord I decree and declare let your power flow in such dimension in such magnitude in the name of Jesus Christ let the anointing of the Holy Spirit come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit let the fire of God come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that you will carry the anointing of the Holy Spirit um, Shade and promise will go to the overflow outside here by the road Shade and promise Benga and um, Femi this overflow and then Mike and Pastor Alpha will be at the overflow, overflow three now. Um, Ejimi will be with me here. Pastor Alpha, um, huh? okay, two of you are there. Okay, fine. Who is left? Michael, okay, they join them outside this overflow here, and then we'll walk with Ejimi inside here. Praise the Lord. Lord, we decree and declare, let there be miracles right now. Let there be signs, let there be wonders. In the name of Jesus, let there be such a strong move of the Spirit. Let the sick be healed. While this is happening, please, um, I want you, if you need to make calls and ask your loved ones to submit their prayer requests, let's do that very quickly. We're trying to conserve time as well as maximize the grace that is available. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. So we we'll pray for you now. I want you to trust God for miracles. Trust God for miracles. Insist that God must give you a miracle. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit gentle touch is flowing Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ I believe Jesus there is healing in your name as we worship as we worship in your presence there is healing the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, gentle time is flowing. It's flowing. Jesus, Jesus, I believe. I believe. Jesus, Jesus, there is healing in your name. There is healing in your 
There are strange spirits that are responsible for the sufferings. You see this dear lady? This lady came all the way from Lagos. Had to resign her job to come here because she was tired of what was happening in her life. It's not just about employment. Came here. This lady came, I think it was last week, all the way. Because she was nothing at all. She was employed but oppression after oppression. There's somebody in the congregation. I'm, I'm seeing like uh, the Lord is opening my eyes. This is strange. And I don't know what it is that I'm seeing that has to do with elephants. I'm seeing an elephant. And I'm seeing like fire coming. This is a deliverance for someone in the congregation now as I'm talking. Um, I'm praying for the sick, but we're going to minister to other needs. But right now, the Lord is asking me to minister to such a person. So I'm declaring right now that every manipulation of spirits that resonates with what the Lord showed me right now from here I decree and declare there is no peace for the wicked I command judgment right now in the name of Jesus Christ on such a person wherever you are in this congregation I decree and declare right now that the power of God touches you right where you are right where you are right where you are in the name of Jesus right where you are right where you are in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone at the minister's stand the minister's stand I'm seeing something like an arrow shooting out of your body Lord in the name of Jesus whoever that person is it must go now I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit every strange devil every strange spirit we decree and declare that this environment is completely not conducive completely not conducive in the name of Jesus I want you to look at this look at look at what look at what the devil can do this is a human being's face mama come madam is this her mother mommy come 
How long has this been? This is one year now. A year one plus. Year. A year plus, yes. Her face just started swelling. It started bleeding from the nose. And before you know, it's her, one of her, this her eyes. I out. prayed for her the last time. Yes. You see it going down? Yes, I see it you going You see it from the last time? Yes. Who was there when you saw yes. the last time? It's going down. You see it going down now? Yes. I prophesy that in the name of Jesus Christ, right now, that the way this thing has started going down, it must go down normally. And hear me. Mama, any human agent that is responsible for this thing happening, are we together? If I am a man of God, that person must die this night. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because I'm looking at you. Hold on. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing the face of a woman. And I'm seeing a woman sitting on the ground. On ground like enchantment. I say it again. Whoever is responsible for terminating, attempting to terminate the destiny of this lady by the God of heaven, may the ground open and swallow her now. God bless you. See, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Wickedness is very, very real. Very real. Very, very real. Very, very real. I want you to lift your voice in one minute and say, Father, judgment tonight. Pray! Lift your voice. Shabakato soto bakata. Lembrekete katatatata. Reketo sepekeriata. Everything that must give way for the next level of my destiny to be open, I command it so. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, Pray inside, pray outside. Pray by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Pray. Shaka toko 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 kes. Rekete kete kata bara 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 bas. Mata kato shepre kete. Lente pre kete basha bara 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 bas. Leke ta pros kata bara nda kapras kata bara tos. Are you praying? Make sure you are praying. Let her go now. Out! 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 I see the rain of your love. I feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. I see the rain of your love I feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear So let it rain Let it rain Open the floor gates of heaven Hallelujah We're really going to pray seriously right now. Um, I've been seeing a lot of visions while praying for the sick. Hallelujah. There are, there are many, many demons that must go. Many, not few. Many. Oppressed. All kinds of um, strange, strange demons. Bring this girl. Come. Bring her. I'm seeing a spirit. Bring her. Let her go now. Victory belongs to Jesus. Listen, hear me. Now, we are going to pray serious. That's why I took out time to maximize the healing anointing because um, we want to finish fast. We have leaders meeting. However, um, now that we have dropped this, please just focus. You have prayed now. Let me minister to you. Praise God. Stand up, please, everybody. We have to pray. These are the wicked spirits that are responsible for families families tonight i see an uprooting i tell you listen i want you to stand because i'm seeing people running out now by the spirit not 
like wanting to run away the spirits running with them that's why i'm saying i'm i'm asking the people to stand we are going to pray please listen i want you to believe the forces that tie your life tie your destiny it's time for us to pray it's time for us to agree are we together i want you to cooperate with me and let's pray they are strange spirits you will bring them out some don't be embarrassed this this has to do with families this has to do with individuals are we together now are we together yes we are going to pray i'm seeing like a ghana must go and i'm seeing it tied in the spirit whose destiny is that oh god it's time to be loose now bring them out please i need strings strings of a flowing sound please bring them out shake it take it up Bracadoso Toba Shata. At his word, every demon, every devil. There's no hiding place for any power of darkness. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please hold your hands together. I want to pray a prayer. You are going to help your neighbor now. Something strange is going to happen to people. I want to pray because I'm seeing like fire passing from people to people. This, this contact must be maximal. Lord, I pray anyone who is a victim of any oppression as this fire passes now in the name of Jesus. Once you see your neighbor manifesting, please let them come. In the name of Jesus, I release that fire right now from road to road, from people to people, from road to road inside outside i command every stranger every stranger every stranger in the name of jesus every stranger outside overflow one overflow two overflow three online i cost that devil right now that fire is burning that fire is burning Every principality, every power. Shaka ta 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 ta. Outside, mighty deliverances. Outside, from road to road, the power of God is setting people free. It's time for yokes of captivity to give way. It's time for age long captivities to be away. Haroto Sose Sesia Tata, Rakatos Kabaria Dabala Koto Shubia. Hallelujah. Everyone, say after me in the name of Jesus. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Say in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of delay over my life over my family be judged now now watch what happens to you i decree and declare anyone with such yoke i command judgment now judgment now now on those forces let them go now let them go now let them go now Please lift your hands. Shabaratos Kotosh. Tonight I trust God for an extensive time of deliverance. Listen, the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing snakes. This is what I'm seeing coming out from holes. Anyone here tied by any spirit, they come to you in the night to sleep with you. Fire at the count of three. One, two, three. Right now, visitors of the night, strangers of men's destinies, I judge you by the God of heaven. Inside and outside, I judge you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Please put your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. 
Sisters, lift your hands. I want to pray a very serious prayer right now. Sisters, lift your hands. If there is anyone here having any spirit molest you in dreams, appearing as men, appearing as women, appearing as animals, at the count of three, as you shout Jesus, Jesus the life is destroying any dead. Are you ready? One, two, three. I command those devils, those strangers, strangers, powers of witchcraft, molesting people, the daughters of Zion, I curse you, I curse your covenant. Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome You overcome Say Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome You overcome Hallelujah I saw what I'm seeing now in much miracle service and the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands I'm seeing padlocks that's what I'm seeing this is representing men's destinies nothing is happening in your life you are not lazy but doors have refused to open right now at the count of three I want everyone to shout Jesus as loud as you can some of you will literally be caught up in visions and you will see the doors of your destinies open Right now, oh God, I declare that every padlock over any man's destiny, over any man's life, at the count of three, they are open. One, two, three. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Destiny. Open up. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to take away the spirit of death over families. Listen. You may not even know, but I want you to believe. I want to pray for you. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. I'm speaking now. Death is a spirit. Oh, death, where is your sting? Right now. I'm seeing at least 47. I'm seeing the number 47. Every family with death hanging over them. Fire! 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 Upon every family. Fire! Fire! Fire. The spirit of death broken. Hallelujah. Can I pass through the crowd for a moment? I want God to do a quick walk. Please listen. I don't do these things out of religion. It is the presence of God. The presence of God. I don't have time and there's no opportunity to lay hands on anyone. But listen. I just come across your role. I just want you to believe. Listen, except it is not the spirit of God, but any other strange spirit aside from God, regardless of what it is and what is causing in your life, it must give way right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, just play me. Father, in the name of Jesus. Listen, please, I want you to believe. This is not about human washing. But as I pass your role, I'm seeing fire on my left and right. Tonight is the ministry of fire. And like a wildfire, it will pass you and begin to consume things. Some of you as I pass that physical fire, that heat, Lord, let it be right now. 
in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ rakoto shoprekete barato kosia prakato toto ketata rakato shapariakata take it here that fire fire judging everything judging every evil from every row row to row row to row row to row that fire right now every witchcraft every power every witchcraft every power tying anyone someone's womb is being loose now someone's womb is being loose someone's womb is being loose in the name of jesus christ can i go out is it, is it possible those outside lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray Hallelujah. Please quickly, we're out of time. We have to conserve time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, all of you right here, through this place, I'm looking and I'm seeing change in the spirit. And as I pass this overflow, please, I want you to believe that every captivity must come to end. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? It must come to end. Father, I give you all the praise right now. Right now. A chain is leaving somebody here. A chain, a chain, a chain, a chain. Go, go, go. Now, 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 now. Chains, 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 chains. I break it now. Break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it. In the name of Jesus. You don't have to touch me. Just be. There's somebody here. The yoke of delay is breaking now, now. Now, now, it's breaking now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Breaking now, break now, breaking now, breaking now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, breaking now in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing a cloud in this place. I release that fire. Breaking now, right, right, right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, help them, help them, please hold them. Elisha, 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 who is that, Elisha, where are you coming from, maybe you, sir. maybe you, maybe you here, yes. I want to pray for you, the Lord wants to give you and your family breakthrough, yes. Elisha, I wish we had time, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm declaring. What's your name? My daddy's name is Elisha. Your daddy's name is Elisha. That's all right. I'll pray for you. Why are you here? You are Elisha. Look at me. I want you to believe in the prayer. I'm going to pray for you. God is going to give you strength in your peace. Amen. I'm seeing like a shrine on fire. Hold on. I'm seeing like a shrine on fire. And that fire in that shrine will manifest physically over somebody's life. Is 
It's time for this family to be set free. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. It's time to be set free. It's time to be set free. Elisha, I pray for you. Now hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare something is leaving you now. As I'm holding your hands, I'm seeing something leaving you. Let it go for you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your dad needs breakthrough. I decree and declare. By the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord brings that breakthrough right now. The Lord brings that breakthrough right now. Please, if we can get some of the people outside, make sure everyone is protected under the canopy. Otherwise, let's see how we can squeeze some of them inside. Even if it's just for the sake of... Um, when the rain minimizes, they can go out. Please, make sure nobody is standing in the rain. Those standing at the edges of the canopies, we can allow them to come in. Just come and squeeze them somewhere, please. Make sure, no, especially women with children, please. Please, make sure that we allow them, please. They can come just stand anywhere the goal is us please just give them room just orderly they can come in and stand anywhere recurrent issues the lord is addressing them now our time is gone but i'm praying recurrent issues the power of god is going to fall on people now i don't know how those outside will do but i pray for grace for them but I'm seeing a grace to destroy recurrent issues. Issues that come, you solve them and they come back again. Where are those people? I stretch my hands right now. In the name of Jesus. That fire is visiting them now. Recurrent issues. The Lord is setting people free right now. Recurrent issues. Please help this, this woman. Recurrent issues. That devil is going right now. In the name of Jesus. Recurrent issues recurrent issues never again in the name of Jesus never again by the power of the Holy Ghost please I know it's raining but participate God is touching people I'm seeing it again recurrent issues issues that come and you think you are done with and they return back I decree and declare that fire is coming now that fire is coming now recurrent issues in the name of Jesus be set free right now. Be set free right now. Be set free right now. Hallelujah. Toy. Toy. What's your name? My son is still. Toy. I will pray for you. I'm seeing serious witchcraft in this lady's family. This is this is heavy satanic oppression. Huh? Heavy satanic oppression. All of you are toy. What's your name? My auntie. Who? My auntie's name is Toy. I will pray for you. Please make sure you are toying. Don't come out carelessly, but hold my hands. I will pray for you. I will use you as a point of contact to pray for your family. Hold my hands with both of your hands. Your family must be free from witchcraft. Lord Jesus. Ah. Fire. Fire. On every altar. Fire. On every altar of witchcraft. I command I use as a point of contact and pray for every family under the yoke of darkness under the yoke of bondage I command your emancipation now I command your emancipation every family under the yoke of darkness
Are you towing? Huh? You have bad luck. Bad luck on your life. Very bad luck. Hold my hands. Hold it with both of your hands. Lord Jesus, this is a miracle service. Set this lady free. This yoke of bad luck. I decree and declare that it must leave you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It must leave you right now. Your sister. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The same way God is touching her, may God touch you too. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, you are doing? My auntie. Where is she? What is this for? This is my family. My mom left my dad some couple of years ago and became a mother. And her immediate younger sister to me goes to Hold the photo. You believe that when I pray for you, God will touch them. Lord, visit this family right now. In the name of Jesus, I release the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, through you, let it touch your family. Please don't come out carelessly. Don't come out. Why, why is she out? Why are you out, my dear? Huh? My sister is doing Okay, I will lay my hands on you. Be free. Of your mother, your mother, something is leaving your mother in the name of Jesus. I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus. Kai, what is this? Look at I'm seeing a snake. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a snake. I'm seeing a snake. I'm seeing a snake. Please just thank God it's raining. If you are inside, don't complain. Those outside are enduring the rain. Just keep quiet and allow God to visit you. Snakes. I saw a snake from this lady and I'm still seeing snakes around. There's no hiding place for darkness. I'm seeing snakes. Lord, let there be deliverances. Let there be deliverances. In the name of Jesus, inside and outside, let there be deliverances. In the name of Jesus, let there be deliverances. Let there be deliverances by the power of the Holy Ghost. This lady, come. This one with the no. Come. God is going to use you mightily. Lift your hands. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a, a lady that God is going to use mightily. That doesn't mean after service you come and start disturbing her. God is going to use you. Father, let that grace, that fire, this lady is going to be mightily used of God. I decree and declare, I don't know you, but I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that you must be free. I declare, don't worry, deliver. In the name of Jesus Christ, every access given to you by darkness, I close it now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I close it now. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I close it right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I close it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I release that fire and that power. There is no hiding for any darkness. Release every breakthrough. Release every destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. I'm hearing Maimuna. 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 I don't know if he's here or outside or someone. Your love. Maimuna. Huh? Is what? Your step. Okay. Maimuna. I'm seeing something else. I will pray for you. Memuna. The Lord is showing me something else. Your name is Memuna. My younger sister. My younger sister. Okay. I lay my hands on you. Look at me. You are not progressing. Hold my hands. The Lord wants to move you forward. This is not even in the name of Jesus. I release you to move forward right now. I command that you move forward in the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord gives you visitations by the power of the Holy Spirit ah hold my hands hold my hands both of your hands I lose you to prosper and I lose your family to prosper you came out to stand for someone but you are the one God is giving the visitation I decree and declare it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit you won't believe what I'm about to pray for I'm seeing written in the air forgetfulness there is a strange spirit that comes upon men and causes them to forget things right now in the name of Jesus Christ Branda Katos Kalabregedigia. If you are here, whether it is memory loss or strange forgetfulness, the things you should do, you forget them and you pay the price. Wherever you are, I release you from it right now. I release you from it right now. I release you right to the back outside all the overflows. Anyone who has that manifestation in their lives, I release them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release them right now. I release them right now. I release them from it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release them right now. Why is he here? Why are you here, sir? Uh, my cousin. Is what? My cousin. We were here last week. But he didn't come today. Your what? My cousin, Tony. Tony. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ. May God touch them. Whatever their issues are, I declare that God will resolve it right now. In Jesus' name. I'm seeing somebody I need to pray for. Physical money disappears sometimes from your pocket, sometimes from your bag. I'm not talking of stealing. Listen to what I'm saying. Don't just come out carelessly. Physical money, you can hold money like this and count it and see that it is less. It has disappeared. Who is that? I need to pray for you. It's a very serious issue. Yeah, na 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 na. You? hallelujah Kai, the lord is showing me something very serious there's somebody um don't be embarrassed you woke up physically in the middle of the night and now i'm not saying you idolize animals but there was a rat a physical rat not running around you were looking at it it was looking at you like this there's someone like that here rat it was looking at you you were wave your hands let me know you are the one i'm talking to come out come and stand here i'm not saying if you have rats in your rooms that's not what i'm this this is a special unique demonic case come Kai. this lady i have to pray for you favor zero breakthrough zero trouble hundred percent father in the name of Jesus, change this face I'm seeing. Jakatos koprakato zakato liyakata bakanda prakisia. Lekos kapranda gada suze preketekatos. In the name of Jesus, zekata atata suzia. Mande bros kata prande kato liyakata. Jakas kende kos akras kate zeketons kamatan zekata. Reketo sekete kete kete bakata. Mam prato soto perekete liyakata. Shasesesesekata, ma proto soto topaka, embriata sada siata, shakel kata maskada bariakato, embre kete 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 kete, rekos kososo pekete de kata, me priata sise kotosho pariakata. Break the chains, break the chains, break the chains, break the chains in the name of Jesus. hallelujah there is somebody your grandmother appears to you your grandmother appears to you where is that person come don't be but this is a serious issue our time is gone but thank god is raining we are going to round up your grandmother you see your grandmother she appears who is that wave your hands come and stand here it's a very demonic thing your grandmother appears to you come and stand Grandmother appears to you. Who is that? 
wave your hands let me know you are here all of you that see your grandmother come and stand here we have to break you from that demonic thing what fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness this Lagos lady God is on your case because you need to be thoroughly thoroughly delivered there is a spirit that is oppressing you and there's no hiding place you hallucinate this lady literally sees things she can be here physically it's, you know what they call astral travel she can live not vision live physically this lady I command that wicked spirit in the name of Jesus and whatever she sees about you except you are powerful it must happen it's a spirit she doesn't even know why in the name of Jesus I'm looking at her and I'm seeing a cat I curse you by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ please don't be tired I know our time is gone but it's raining let, let, let's just visit these things because come you are a beautiful girl but no favor in your life shift let me talk to this this yellow girl come run God wants to wipe your tears ah I'm looking at you and I'm seeing something like a crown on your head come you must be delivered thoroughly father in the name of Jesus Christ let this cause of disfavor this is a beautiful girl but there's no favor in her life Shato Soto Bakata Randa Koto Soto Kete Barakata I decree and declare every legal access of darkness I curse it right now I curse it right now I open the doors I open the doors from the realm of the spirit let there be favor over your life in Jesus name hold on sir I need to pray for you this encounters supposed encounters has retrogressed your life I hear what I'm saying I have to pray for you because you are not supposed to be at this level right now you too you see your grandmother where are you from? Calabar? No. Obudu. Obudu. Cross River. Obudu. Cross River. I have to pray for you. Please, if I, if I didn't call, why are you here? Are you, do you know why you are here? Huh? You see your grandmother. Kai. There's somebody here. Hold on. All of you see your grandmothers. Don't laugh. You see, let me tell you, this is not some, it's not mockery. It's not, I'm not saying every vision of grandmother is demonic. Please don't get me wrong. These are very special, strange, wicked, and demonic issues. Special, strange, wicked, and demonic issues. Someone has fallen down there. Please let the doctors attend to the person. Make sure you are your brother's keeper so that they don't fall down and injure themselves. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hi, you come what business do you have to do with dead people dead people eh? hold my hands say in Jesus name say it seriously in Jesus name every affiliation with the dead I curse it now I release an anointing upon you now everything you have to do with dead people in Jesus name do you love Jesus you love Jesus Huh? Mm -mm. you are not serious with Jesus hold my hands how are you don't be embarrassed but um, the first thing you need is your relationship I'm looking at you I can't I don't want to embarrass you but you need Jesus seriously I love you eh? that's why I'm helping you I love you with all my heart go and meet the who um, where's Pastor Alpha just meet him he will talk with you you need counseling is your own is not just grandmother God just brought you out here to in your destiny is needed please go and see or we'll talk to you now all of you who are having these issues I'm going to lay my hands on you now when I lay my hands on you I want you to believe there is this strange Kai. I'm seeing somebody someone appears to you in the night and when he appears to you please don't come out at random as soon as he appears to you your spirit literally starts leaving your body literally as in you feel yourself you will come out and you will see you again lying down on the bed there's somebody with that case that situation right now i have to pray for that person right now i have to pray for that person right now something comes pulls your spirit out like he's going i will lay my hands on you all of you are so many father every affiliation with darkness i'm going to lay my hands on all of you very fast sir 
I'm, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing the spirit of poverty and lack. Serious poverty. Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. Nothing works. Yes, sir. Your life is like a basket. Anything that enters goes out. I'm not embarrassing you. Eh? You are saying the truth. Money leaves your hand. Even if they give you one million, it must find a way of going. Yes, yes sir. sincere man, but money does not stay. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. Do you tight? Yes, sir. You are not consistent. One. Two. Um, you see, this consistency of tightening is one way to drive the devourer. God is not a magician. You have to be consistent. Praise God. God blesses you ten times. You tight once. Your heavens are completely closed. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands right now and I command breakthrough. In Jesus' name. Let me lay my hands quickly now. You're the God of miracles. Amazing God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out. You're the God of wonder. Be free now. In the name of Jesus. Amazing God. You're the God of miracles. Be free. Move forward. In the name of Jesus Christ. You're the God of wonder. Out. Out. Let go now and cast that spirit. God, you. The God, oh, the God of wonder, amazing, amazing God. You're the God of the Lord wants to bring favor to your life. Straight favor. Receive that favor. You're the God of wonder. Please speak their hands. fast five minutes and we're out of this place please i want you to believe every prayer that is coming now every prayer come every prayer the lord is taking you to a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ. a new dimension a new level cameraman god is wiping your tears keep the camera first wiping your tears in the name of jesus christ the Lord is wiping your tears in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is wiping your tears. This lady, I'm praying God is visiting her family. That lady standing close to Ella. I'm seeing a vision that the Lord is going to show her a breakthrough. I'm commanding right now in the name of Jesus, everything tying down your families, particularly. The Lord is asking me to release the family now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Now I decree and declare 
by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy those outside please follow me those online follow me our time is gone but let's just be patient two three minutes we're out of here I decree and declare from tonight move forward in the name of Jesus move forward in the name of Jesus move forward in the name of Jesus make progress 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 in the name of Jesus advance in the name of Jesus advance in the name of Jesus be fruitful in the name of Jesus be fruitful in the name of Jesus multiply in the name of Jesus anyone here who has lost anything in your life I declare I'm seeing 28 in 28 days Shato Soto Koto Pakata 28 days from now I command that it comes back to your hands I command that it comes back to your hand I command that it comes back to your hand anyone here who has been victimized by life by circumstances by men I decree and declare may the God I serve vindicate you right now everyone here in need of direction you are praying oh God I need to know what step do I take in the name of Jesus tonight strange encounters that bring you direction strange encounters that bring you direction the yoke of poverty and hardship and lack I command you to live your life now I command you to live your life now live your family now live your destiny now I pray for every family represented here whatever you are trusting God for as a family I release my faith with you and I decree and declare that it is turned into your testimony now the kind of favor you have not seen from January till now I decree and declare from tonight not tomorrow from tonight let it start working in your life strange favor in your life strange favor in your life God has placed his honor upon this ministry I pray for you from today anywhere you go whether they know you or not I command them to honor you believe it I command honor upon your life in the name of Jesus two more prayer points and we're done whatever has made your pace of your life slow some of you are moving forward but you are too slow for your destiny at the rate you are going you will not do much in your lifetime I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus receive the grace for speed receive the grace for speed do in one month what you have not done in five years in the name of Jesus Christ and finally I pray for you whatever has taken advantage of your spiritual life your prayer life your fasting life word life passion for God passion for the house of God right now I stretch my hands and I declare fresh fire on your altar prayer fire on your altar word fire on your altar fasting fire on your altar I decree and declare upon everyone receive a manifestation of the spirit of revelation in the name of Jesus let me add one last prayer point judgment upon the wicked let it begin tonight some of you don't like the prayer I say it again judgment upon the wicked in the name of Jesus Christ that every man woman boy and girl that partners with darkness to frustrate your destiny may the God of vengeance arise in the name of Jesus Christ wave your hands to Jesus father we give you all the praise we give you all the glory Thank you. hello beloved in Christ we hope this message was a blessing to you I would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us
us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.